face away from the yeah, wind. Yeah, I know. It's, it's tough. There's no wind. I mean, you do have a little wind break there from Ken, so that helps. <laughs> I just meant for the rumbling in my mind. No, I know. It, it gets a little phones. annoying after a while. That's, <laughs> that's kind of bluff the way I'm doing it right now. Yeah. It's, it's not doing that. It's pretty sweet. See how fast those clouds are going. We've been doing that all day. So they said Matt of Visors gust to 40 or 50 miles an hour. Is that what it said? Uh, that's not right. We're ready when you are, Ken. Yeah. We're live? Yeah. That's all. All right, here we go. We're live. Good evening. Welcome to Friday Harbor High School Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny Radio, presented by Brown's Home Center, the island's only full service building supply center. I'm John Volk. With me is former Friday Harbor Wolverine Ian Volk. Nice. Uh, before we get to our Banner Bank pregame show, I'd like to thank the, fo the following sponsors. Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, Island Petroleum Services. Welcome to our Banner Bank pregame show. Tonight, Friday Harbor High School Wolverines are visiting the Connor Braves. So and, and unlike our last week where we were kind of at the end of summer, we're almost really into fall here. It's quite windy in McConnor. It's already kind of blowing, I think, 15 to 20 miles an hour. And they're Probably going to start pouring later. It's supposed to be gusts to 40 to 50, and then some really dark, ominous clouds to our east. So it will be interesting to see how the weather shakes out in this game. Uh, last week, Friday Harbor fell to Granite Falls, as we discussed before, uh, 38 to 15. Uh, you know, we... we if you heard the broadcast last week, we talked about a lot of things, but just to recap, um, Friday Harbor Wolverines moved the ball well when they did not turn it over. Uh, I think they ended up with five turnovers at the end of the game, three fumbles and two interceptions. Uh, they've also fumbled, I think, another three or four times they recovered on their own. Uh, so pretty much that loss was uh, a, a shot in the foot. It was self-inflicted. Yeah, some self-inflicted loss there. Um, like, like, you know, in the broadcast, we really talked to the guy. Um, Ken says, that, hey, Ken, can we turn up the volume? I got a couple of texts already. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's kind of a one-man show. Mike's not here, so I'm just doing it with Ian. Um, going over last week's game, though, uh, it was turnovers with the killer. Um, the, when the Wolverines had the ball and were not turning it over, they were losing it quite well. First downs, lots of yardage. A couple, uh, they kind of tightened up at halftime, a little uh, pep talk in the – Halftime, they came out, kept Granite Falls off the scoreboard completely in the third quarter. Um, gave up a couple more scores in the fourth, but managed to put some points on the board themselves, which was a nice positive for the team. Uh, they didn't give up, kept working hard, kept playing hard. Uh, got rewarded there with a couple of touchdowns. Uh, tonight, they're facing uh, the LeConnor Braves, who are 0-1. Uh, they lost 21-0 uh, to Salton last week. Um, I really don't have much more information on their game than that, unfortunately. Uh, so that's kind of the recap for uh, last week and where we're at this week. Um, let's see where are we at on this. I got a little screen I got to read here. So uh, that's pretty much, I think, all for our pregame. I mean, you saw both games, Ian. Any, anything besides um, what we saw in the turnovers last week that you thought was concerning for I Wolverine? Mean, no, if they keep it clean and just wrap up, if they, I saw a lot of high tackles. So yeah. Kind of. I was actually surprised. A lot of kids slipping off. You know, it, you. I don't want to. It's kind of a generalization here. We talk about officiating, but um, oh. that was that was two games in a row with with uh, with one A official. Yeah. And you know the the Whidbey Island um, Friday Harbor game. You know it seemed like a normal game to me as far as calls went. I mean there was a few on us and a few on them, but the Granite Falls game there really wasn't seemed like a lot of penalties. No, there were a couple that were pretty iffy, and I've never really been a big fan of these lower division refs. Well, this would have been the upper division for the other games. Yeah, 1A. So today, today's game will be, will be seeing 2B officials. I'm, I'm sure a lot of my old teammates would agree with that. <laughs> well, anyway, I was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking back to the game, just going over some notes, and I, I, I was kind of struck by there was a really lack of penalties in the last game. Um, you know, and it's, it's tough. You know, we, we see them up way up. We're usually way up high, so it's easier yeah. for us to see a penalty than on the ground. Um, so here come the Braves. They're coming out to the field right now. Uh Crowds give a little cheer, if even though it's windy and blowing over the band instruments. And they got their shiny new helmets. They got a nice set of new helmets. They do look nice. Uh, they're kind of like a, they're not like the super shiny. They're kind of a matte, almost a matte finish, blue. They're very nice helmets. Yeah, the cleats look nice. 
Are these P flex? Oh, they're yeah. P flex. Yeah, they look nice. And the Wolverines should be out here in just a moment. Uh, when I was, we were looking at the warm ups. It looks like there were five scratches for the Wolverines. Is that what we counted? Four or five. Four or five scratches. I couldn't, I couldn't really tell. Um, I think a couple of them might not have their practices in, and then I'm not sure about uh, the other ones. We really didn't get in a report. I'm not really sure that they have any injuries. Um, two I'm scratches for the Braves. Yeah, and there's there's yeah there's two non-dressed for the Braves. Uh, for the Braves, it's number six, Dakota Suit, and 53. He's not on the roster. So there you go. So we're just waiting for the Wolverines to come out, and I think we'll probably. Oh, you gotta let them do their little thing. All the what the Braves do. I think was that a is that a pig down there? Is that the mascot pig? That's a that's a dog. Are you sure? I thought it was like a pig. It's got I a tail. I guess the <laughs> it's got a little pig that tails. They still don't have straight tails. I was going to be excited. I thought it was going to be a mascot pig. I thought it would be kind of cool. So here come our Wolverines right now. Uh, walking. Yeah. Um. So who's six, so 64 is not dressed. And he is not on my roster. And who else is not dressed here? Yeah, you're a little peppin' with death. So we got number 70 is not on my roster. Ten. Number 10, who is on my roster, that's Nathan Posenjack. Uh, 80. 80 is also not on my roster. And then 75. And then 75 is also not on my roster. So the only one I can tell that's not, doesn't have pads on is uh, would be Nathan Posenjack. Looks like I have the other four either have different numbers or they wear different numbers during the game, which commonly happens if they play offense and defense and they are playing a ball-carrying position. They'll have a different number they wear that they have to put on to be eligible. I didn't see Rob go with him. I still can't tell if he's helping out this yes, week or it, not. It visiting from us is an old coach. He lives in Bellingham now. Rob Walters was here uh, giving the kids a couple of pointers before the game. Much needed. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're getting close. The flag is blowing. Actually, I think Rob's going to move. Is he on the move? Good for him. The cave over there. Is he? Yep. Well, there you go. Well, the secret tip there. Rob's back in the booth. So they got their radio. There's their radio man down there. So they're ready to go. All right, I'm gonna go over the sponsors again while we're waiting here to for the for the coin toss and the national anthem. Uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors: Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, Uncanny Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill. Ferdy Herb Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. Okay. Sorry, I'm skimming my notes again. I'm not totally, totally awesomely prepared for today. Uh, okay, we're close to the kickoff. All right, Ian, so here we go. We're going to have their coin toss right now. For Freddie Harbor, it's Connor Haynes, uh, Jeff Mason, and Dylan Roberson. Dylan Roberson. And this would be a good practice for Mike LaConnor looking up here. So that's number 15, Hayden uh, Dinah. Uh, 24, Ooh, Feliciano Adams. I think I got that right. Uh, 51, Weston Arnold. And who's the other one there? 54. 54, 54 is Jarell Tayu. Practice my names here. All right. Looks like we're going to get a toss here. As long as the coin doesn't go flying away in the wind, we'll be okay. I don't think they do that. They still do that thing during the anthem. The Braves? Oh, yeah. They did it. They did oh, it. they still do it? Oh, I'm sure they oh, do. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, well that's well every school has their thing, so you know. Gotta have your thing. Yeah, I mean it's kinda just like the Yeah, I know, but it's they're still their thing. Boy, it's a long coin toss. You gotta explain what tails and heads is, I guess. Alright. So who won the toss? LaConnor's going to receive. Yep. Looks like Friday Harbor will be kicking with the wind. Uh, LaConnor will be going into the wind for their first possession. 
and that's kind of a big deal because uh, it's flowing pretty hard down here, and I would think passing into the wind would be a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, kicking off in the wind, of course, is great because it gives you a nice long kickoff. I did see a hand signal from Contreras. I'm pretty sure that's Connor. Yeah, I, I kind of got the same thing. I think Connor, won, though Connor won the toss. So we're looking at uh, Freddie Harbison, the possession for the second one. Yep. Oh, here comes the intercom. All I got to do is turn on our lights and we'll be set. And we'll see who's here for the national anthem, and then we'll go over the sponsors again. Are you supposed to stay? What? Are you still stand up? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You don't stand up till then, though. Yeah, I know. Get used to it. <laughs> Whew, there it goes. Blustery, blustery. You know, it's kind of funny, though. It is really windy, but I think it's still like 60 degrees. So we'll be okay as long as it doesn't get cold or the rain starts. If the rain starts blowing through here, well, it's going to be exciting. Thankfully, we're under a roof. But yeah, but the if, <laughs> if it comes from that direction yeah. and the rain's sideways, it's not going to matter. But our <laughs> But if it comes straight down, we're good. Our away fans are. Yeah, this this is probably the one field that, as an away fan, which I've done and throughout my time, that I don't like going to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is probably the one is is growing up, you know, or not having my kids grow up and watching them play sports. This is probably the one home field or I never like going to. There's something about the glare. It gets you up close on. Yeah. It gets muddy. Does it? Well, that's why I was so we had all that rain earlier. I thought this would be a mud bowl, but it kind of, I think there was enough time for the field to kind of dry up. It actually looks pretty good. Oh, well, this would be too soon. We can yeah. wait for the second half and see what happens. Yeah, I see what kind of shape it is. Well, it's got some, you can see some nice patches out there where the grass is regrown. It looks like it had quite a few bald spots this summer, but it's kind of filled back in. So I think we're still waiting on the national anthem. What are we waiting on here? The Connor Cup band. Is smaller, are, are they smaller, warming up? Smaller than normal. <laughs> are we going to wait for them to get ready to play the anthem? Yep. The nine-person. The nine-person band. Nine-person cup band. They, they're going to try, and that's the best part. So as long as they give a good effort, it doesn't matter how many guys they got. Both teams are ready, so we're, like I said, we're just waiting on the anthem, I think. Well, they just said they're not doing it. So I think we're doing the pledge then. <laughs> we're good, they said. <laughs> I was going to say, if you're playing baseball today, there's dingers this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 40 miles. Started here. I'm going to go over the sponsors again. Thanks to Brown, Tom Center, Banner Bank, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, and Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Freddie Harbor Dentistry, Ooh, Lemon Computers, Ooh. Haley's Bar and Grill, Freddie Harbor Electric, San Juan Survey, Miller Drywall, Ooh, Pacific Rim Installation, Ooh, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Home Service. Roberson. Roberson. Today. Oh, did they say Jeffries? 
They said golf full. Oh, yeah. You know, it looks like that on the thing. Couldn't even tell. I'll make sure to tell my brother that they butchered his name. Yeah, I said it right. Oh, actually, I think I know who that kid is. He was the backup quarterback they'd throw in at the end of the games when they were beating him. That one right too. Also on the lineup, sophomore and legacy number sixty, Keon Zimmerman. And next to him, a sophomore, number thirty-four, Alex Harden. And last but right around the lineup, junior number seventy-seven, Dakota King Rutgers. Oh, that's a big boy. Yeah, he's a big guy, huh? That's a big boy. So, uh, think he's matched up against Jeff today? <laughs> oh, Jeff could take him. <laughs> that would be interesting to see, wouldn't it? I doubt he plays outside D-line. No, I think you're probably right. All right, so we got the teams announced. So we're looking to get ready for the kickoff. Band's got their stuff together, finally. All their stuff was getting blown around the wind earlier, so that's a good start for them. Miss the national anthem, but not the game. Well, you know, you can't have it all, right? Not in LaConnor. <laughs> that kid better slow down the gears. It's kind of early for that. Thick waters. All right, so Wolverines will line up to kick off. Connor is set to receive. So they can figure out which line they're supposed to be on here. Uh, 35 is the, but I mean the yard markers are all blown. No, I, I meant I meant the Laconner guys. Oh, they could they couldn't decide which line they want to line up oh on. Oh, I was gonna say our line our line markers are all blown over on the field. So classic five four two for the receiving team. Gotta have a holder for the ball. It kept blowing off the tee. Nice deep kick for the Wolverines, fielded by number four, uh, Anthony Pena. Oh, he slipped through the first line. Got to the first line. Oh, he's up to the 40 where they make the tackle there. That looks like, uh, who is that? Uh, looks like Wiley McCutcheon with the yeah, tackle. 34. Number 34, Wiley McCutcheon. All righty, so here we go for our first play of the game. We're right in the spot where we can't even see the scoreboard. Well, I can see it. Oh, well that's good, because I can't see it at all. There's a big hole in the way. All right, so we're looking at uh, who's, what formation is this? Is that just a... It's like a wishbone? Yeah, kind of. We can wish wishbone with a side. We run, run them right up the middle. Looks like maybe a yard. Where'd they mark that at? I think that went backwards. Yeah, I think they gave them a yard on progress there. So we got second and nine. I've never seen this offense they've been running right now before. Well, they're running two back set with a wing back on the uh, right side. Um, I'm more used to seeing the Connor spread. Yeah, I was going to say we're used they to seeing them. I, well, think like I think they've run a spread ever since I was like in well grade. The <laughs> a, the, the weather is not conducive yeah. to spread today, so you got to run. So now they're, now they're kind of back into it. Yeah, see, it's just a two back set with a, with a wing back on the side and a wide receiver on the left. And it's a handoff right up the middle to, I couldn't see who got the uh, ball there. Four 14 got the tackle. So that's uh, that's Con Connor Haynes Connor with the tackle. Haynes. And who had the ball there? 50, no, that's 54 is a lineman, isn't it? I think it's 24. Yeah. 24 had the ball there. That yeah. would be oh, Tadikiano Adams. 
So we're on a third and, what, I'd still say nine, maybe eight. Pretty sloppy huddle break there by LeConner, but, you know. Yeah. To each his own, I suppose. So we're running, uh, what, strong right is essentially how what that line looks like. And another, oh, it's another an end around to the, to the wing back. Sleep on the left. Who's that, Dylan and Roberson makes the tackle? Looks about a yard short. Yeah, it's pretty close to the marker, but you're right, it is short. Is that Dylan Roberson with the tackle? It sure looked like it. Looked like it. Yeah, they're about, what, a half a yard short, maybe a yard? They're going to take out the middle. And yeah, they're not going to measure it. They, they had a good look at it there. So there we go, fourth down in, let's say, inches. Uh... They're definitely not punting since it's into the wind. That's not going to go anywhere. You're better off throwing a deep ball and hoping for a, a, a pseudo punt. Uh, still looking at the same formation, two back set with a wing back on the right. Wide receiver on the left. Yeah, they're probably just going to run right up the middle. Now let's see if they're – oh, it was a fumble. Oh, they got the quarterback in the backfield the there. The quarterback sneak and they did a full Yeah, well, well, that and it was a hugely poor snap. He, yeah. I think it was actually supposed to be a handoff to me it looked like, but – well, we the whole thing we fell we apart. Sent, we sent the house on that. So the uh, the Connor Braves turn the ball over on downs. We're looking at first and ten on the 45. missing down marker. Forty-five. Let's 45. set the forty-five. Yep. And here come the Wolverines. Chris and Connor still in the backfield. Yep. It's uh, Chris Gustin at fullback. Connor Haynes at halfback. And we've got uh, Wiley McCutcheon at the wing. He goes in motion. Actually, it's Pierce Klein in the motion across the back end. Hand off to Connor Haynes. Uh, looks like a gain of six, I want to say. Six. Five we're or six. Yeah, we're looking at, I think, whatever the official is, it's going to be a gain of six. That was that was just the regular first play of the game. That yeah, we run. I think we've been running that for like five years now. Yeah, so that's going to be second, set up second and four here. Wolverines to the ball. Pierce Klein in motion. Hand off to Connor Haynes. Right, right the up middle. the middle. Looks like going to be a first down. Gain of four, Five. I think. Puts it on uh, the 39 of LeConnor. I wouldn't be surprised if Brock calls a pass on this drive just because we're going into the wind. Well, and that's what I was thinking. You got the wind with you. You can you can work a short pass. Sure. I wouldn't want to huck it up there really far because it's going to really travel. But on a on a year to year basis, we aren't really a throwing team. No. But sometimes we do, and sometimes it works. And here we go. Oh, no motion from Klein. Looks like it's a weak side sweep to Connor Six. Haynes. Gets very good yardage on that play. I think down to the. Where are we at here? The 30? That was a 15 yard run. Yeah, down to about the 30 yard. First down. Yeah, it was a little weak side run there. They didn't put the man in motion as they normally do in this offense and just uh, did a little sweep to the outside. That was a nice little pick. Yeah. Wolverines to the ball. No motion from Klein again. Right up the middle. Right up the middle to Chris Gustafson. He's dragging people down there. Looks like he's down to about the four-yard line. Took about four Braves with him. <laughs> four, four Braves with him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to mark it. Looks like just inside the five-yard line. So it'll be uh, first and goal. 15-yard carry. Five yards to go. Looks like the pace is picking up the Wolverines a little bit here. Not quite a quick offense, but definitely a shorter time in the, in they've the got huddle. They've got more of a pep in their step today for sure. There's Klein in motion. Hand off to Connor Haynes. He's in. Looks like he's in the end zone. Oh, no. Oh. I think he might have just been just a hair short there. Stuck on the one. Yeah, just right. They're liking it almost on the goal lines where they're marking it. Yeah, that's so good shot move. second down and goal from inside the one-yard line. I'm not going to say the six-inch yard line like Mike Martin does. That reminds but me I just of said it by saying it. That, so. remi that reminds me of a two-point conversion play my senior year. Oh, yeah? That we definitely had in. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was the same field. Same spot. So, Klein in motion. Hand off to, oh, it's a fumble. Dylan jumped on it. Oh, uh, Wolverine's got it back. So, we're going to move back a couple yards. Looks like to the three-yard line. So, it'll be third down on the three-yard line. 
That was fortuitous to recover that fumble because he did not need a repeat of last week. Yeah, I got to keep a good check on the turnovers. Yep. Yeah, that, that was I, I still of the mindset that he would not turn the ball over so much. That was a definitely a winnable game against Randall. How Randall. many was it last week? Was it five? Five. Five we actually gave over. I think they had about eight, at the and they got three back. So. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, climb in motion again. Here's the snap. Hand off to Gustin. He's in. Untouched for the touchdown. Nolan Roberson looking at the sideline. Looks like the Wolverines are going to go for two here. Good weak side run by him. Yeah, it was kind of like almost a counter. Yeah. Yeah. Sure the thing was tweaked in front of him. So here the Wolverines are going for two. Uh, their standard formation here. Klein in motion. Here's the snap. Hand off to, looks like he went to Connor Haynes. Looks about good to me. And some Wolverines have their hands in the air, but I don't see anything for the official. Well, that's a real day job there. <laughs> Officials are going to get together and discuss wow. it, and they say the try is no good. Well, seen that before. Same end zone, too. All right, well, there we go. Wolverines, a uh, fairly straightforward drive. Some nice runs. It's more than 10 yards. Uh, only had a little stumble at the end there when they fumbled and recovered their own fumble. First score of the game, 6 0. Uh, we've got about uh, six, six, six minutes, left, six on minutes the left in the quarter. Uh, we'll go to our sponsors now Brown's Home Center, Vander Bank, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, and Tammy Cotton Agency, uh, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Girl, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Survey, and Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, Star Efficient and Septic, Island Petroleum Services, and I. Looking at a different list here, and BladeRestoration.com is our last sponsor there. So, like we said, this uh, a pretty efficient drive by the Wolverines. Um, only really kind of stalled at the end there at the end zone, but that's not uncommon when you lose field. Uh, you don't know, have as much field to work with. That was that was pretty much classic football that we've been playing. Yeah, that's recently. classic Wolverine football. Run it right down the middle. Yeah, pretty much middle run, except the one uh, one sweep to the outside. Sweep to the outside to the weak side, which normally is not the direction the Wolverines run in. Oh, you know, Brock, sometimes he likes to get a little <laughs> jumpy. <laughs> All right, so here the Wolverines are to kick off. Uh, we got a holder for the ball again because it's blowing so hard, so that's one less gunner there. Uh, Other gunner's Pierce. There's the kick. Oh, it's a little uh, onside kick almost. It's bouncing, bouncing, and LeConner gets it. So they recover the ball on the... Where is that? 40? I think it's the 40. 30, 35, 40. Yeah, the sign fell over the other side, but I think it's the 40 yard line. I couldn't tell who it was. We just like totally clean <laughs> that returner out. Well, he was down anyway because yeah, he was on his knees. Yeah, but he just ran right into he him. He gave him a little extra there. All right, so uh, LaConner ball here. We've got uh, 557 left in the first quarter. Uh, first and 10 on the 40. They're going to line up for the ball for the snap. Little bad snap, inside handoff. Looks like they well maybe gained a yard, half maybe. a yard. I think the official's given about a yard on that play. That was number uh, 54. I gotta flip my roster over here. Uh, and it's getting dark in here. 54, uh, Terrell Caillou, the senior. So they gave about a yard progress on there. So we're looking at second and nine. Comes the snap. Another inside. Oh, oh take the inside easy. handoff. Had to the to the wing back. Uh, comes around the far side. I'm not going to say they're going to probably give him four yards. Third and five. I didn't see the fake at first, and I thought. Uh, yeah, that was number. I, th I thought that was stuffed immediately. That was number 22, Reese Merritt. Is that right? It's getting dark up here. They haven't turned the lights on yet. Who's number 50? Uh, number 50 on the Wolverines. On the Wolverines. Uh, you know he's not on the roster. I'm, I'm kind of yeah. having issues with that now. I need, to, I need to talk to your brother and get some number updates. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, so we're third and five. Uh, LaConnor at the ball. Uh, they split off the wing back to the other side, so he's moved to the left side. Uh, and they're going to give it to him coming to the on left. On an outside sweep. And an outside sweep, and there is nobody here. That was a good tackle by Jackson, though. Uh, yeah, I got the first down, though, probably about a yard. Didn't get any more. 
That was a textbook. Yeah, well, uh, we we lost our uh, corner containment there, if you notice yeah. that. But tackle was textbook, is what I'm saying. Yeah, so it was a good tackle. We lost our corner containment on that side. So we're looking at uh, first and ten from LeConnor on the, what, Wolverine 48, I'm going to say. 48. Yeah, so 47. we've moved back their, their wing back to our side on the right side and the wide receiver back to the left side. And inside handoff with a fake to the wing back uh, for looks like no gain on the play. That was number 54 again. Uh, J. Roll Caillou. Second and 10. Connor up to the ball. Still running a wing back on this side. Wide receiver on the far side. Here comes the snap. Uh, hand off to the oh. to the left, their their left side back with for no gain again. Bit of a bite on the fake again. Might need to start paying attention to where the ball's going. Chris Gustafson with the tackle. And I think that was the other running back, wasn't it? That wasn't 54. No, that was 24, I believe. Looks like we're gonna or take a timeout here. Timeout. Those geese are trying really hard. <laughs> take it off in the wind. Yeah, they go up higher faster. Um, I'm assuming that was timeout for the Wolverines. I didn't see the official, the official direct who took the timeout. Uh, so though that's on a timeout. It's going to be third and almost ten. Uh, thank our sponsors again: Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Cub, Friermer's Fryer, Insurance, and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall. Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. Well, this is a, a different offense we've seen from the Connor today. Yeah, yet, it's, uh, I don't remember ever seeing this kind of inside running in the past. Yeah, they're a lot more focused on the run game. Yeah. I don't know if they were like this last week, but yeah, like I said, we have no I idea. Think what I they think did I've seen. I think I've seen some new faces in the coaching staff too. Yeah, I was going to say that too. I didn't recognize some of the coaches here, and uh, this isn't the traditional LaConnor playbook we've seen for the last ten or fifteen years. Um, it's it's an interesting formation. I want to. I'm probably we're going to probably see more handoffs to the wing back there. I think than the middle yeah. run because the middle run's getting pretty stuffed. So I to see what kind of other stuff they run out of this formation. So LaConnor up to the ball. They are moving everybody around. Uh, looks like they're going wing back on the left side and a wide receiver on the left. You know, I know at least from what I've the noticed. Officials the officials are now we got a timeout for LaConnor. Oh. So we went from a Freddie Harbor timeout to a LaConnor timeout. A lot of the teams I've seen recently that we play have kind of switched their offenses around to kind of be like ours. Yeah, and I think that, you know, they look at our defense too, and our, our defense is built to be a run stopper. Yeah. So I think a lot of offenses – they work on some plays where they can run pass out of the run kind mm -hmm. of thing and kind of throw us off a little bit. The problem with tonight is that's not going to happen, no. at least not in the direction the Connor's going. No. I mean, if you leave a ball in the air, it's going to get picked off when, by somebody. When, when the quarter switches, maybe we'll see. But yeah, I was going to say, I think I, they were passing when they were warming up, and I could see once the quarter switches and they're going, they're going essentially downhill with the wind, you might see a few more. But I think right now this run game is what we're going to be seeing. Uh -huh. I, I do like their formation with the wing back because it does give you a little trickery option there on that inside handoff if you don't give it to one of them. Yeah, they we definitely bid on one of the sweeps earlier from yeah. that. Well, so right now the way it's lined up, the wing back is now on our side, the right side of the field, and the the uh, wide receiver is on the left side, the far side of the field. Here's the snap. Uh, inside handoff. Nope, they fake oh, the inside right handoff. The We're sweep. going sweep again. Uh, that was a hold on uh, someone got away with. There's and a flag, there's a flag there, the but that looks more like it might be on a... Somebody was holding on to Jeffrey pretty good. Yeah, I saw that, but I don't think that was what the flag was. So we're going to... What do we got to call here? Looking at the officials. It's usually, it's usually pretty evident when the tackle grabs on to the yeah. outside linebacker and the outside linebackers just spin around him. Yeah, so we're talking. We've got the ball. We're going to have a decision here. I haven't seen a signal yet. They're talking to the white hat. Looks like we're going to signal it's a hold. holding. No, maybe. Yes. No. Yep. There it is. There's a hold against the Connor. 
That was probably that one we spotted. Yeah, but it wasn't so far downfield though. We're, yeah, we're, I'm, su I'm surprised the back or the front judge saw it. Yeah, I think and it, not the back judge. I think th so. There was a hold here in the back against uh, that was on Jeffrey Volk. Yeah. But I think they called a hold on uh, someone held um, um, Max Fields. Oh, uh, with one of the driving. Yeah, I th yeah, I think the I think the so the lineman was on on Jeffrey, and I think the wide receiver was on Max Fields. I think that's what the, the hold they called. So LeConner's back to essentially where they were. They're third and just a just a shy under ten on the far side of the field. Here comes the snap. And oh, there's a fumble on the snap. The quarterback is now Correct. running for his life. He's taking a sack um, from Chris. Jack is that Chris Gustafson Chris with the Gustafson. sack? Loss of about 12 yards there. Uh, I say easily 12 because they're going to, there's the 50, 45, 40. Uh, so they're going to be on their own 40. Oh, that's a generous spot. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about a yard in front of where it was. <laughs> they're going to give them on their own. Oh, oh, there goes the lights. Lights turned off. Uh, oh, now they're, and these lights are on. Someone turned off the long switch. Did, did we lose power? <laughs> No, they meant it so uh, just <laughs> it's kind of hilarious here. They just turn off the the lights for the game and they turn on the lights in the stand. I think someone uh, hit the wrong switch somewhere there. They so gotta, they got to turn the game lights back on. Yeah, we got to wait for them to turn the game lights back on. Uh, but anyway, so <laughs> they're trying to get on the switch again. So we're looking at uh the Connors got a fourth down on their own 40 and they've got to get 5 10 They've got almost 20 oh, yards yeah. to go, so it's going to be a fourth and 18, I think. If I want to, if I'm reading that right, and see that's fourth and 18. Um, yes. Five, ten, fifteen. No. Five, no. ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-two. Fourth and twenty-two. Fourth and twenty-two. On the uh, on their 40. on their on their own 40. So you have two options here. Is a is on the offense. You I can think, either. I think the officials are calling a timeout until they get the lights back. Yeah, on. I think that's what they're working on. So I think you know logically here as a as a team, you're either going to punt, you're putting it in the wind, so that's going to have a dead end, I right? Just, I just go for it, to be honest. <laughs> Personally, if if you want to really try to emulate a punt, you'd throw some kind of crossing route here, and if you get a completion and a first down, you're great. If the guy gets intercepted, it's not going to be any worse than your punt. I don't know how good the little Connor punter is, but I doubt he's going to punt it yeah, like I doubt 20 it yards into that wind. Well, while we're waiting for the lights to get sorted out, oh, we're going to play. Never mind. I'm going to wait on the sponsors. Oh, then. they're just going. So we're going to play in the semi-darkness here. No. no. Official stopped it again, and now they have got another one in the clock. Here we go. So the Connor on the ball looks like they could punt or a fake punt. We'll see what they do here. Oh, it's they're punting. A, a short a flag. Punt. The flag, flag, on the, flag on the play. Punt travel was about 12 yards. I was right on that. Yeah. So it's on the LaConnor 48 at the moment. Somebody lost a trombone. Uh, there's a flag there, which I'm sure is going to be holding. And I think if I'm the Wolverines, I'm going to decline that. Would yeah, you think? I would too. I just take the ball where they got it. Yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine fielding position. I mean, there's a chance you can push them back 10 more and they'll kick just as poorly, but you might as well just, this is a good result right here, so. Yeah. We'll see, so, what, we'll see what Brock wants to do. Yeah. So while we're waiting for that decision, uh, I'm going to read the sponsors um, again. Uh, uh, brought to you by Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Friday Harbor Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Freddy Harbor Electric, San Juan Survey, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Iowa Petroleum Services. So we're going to decline the penalty here for the Wolverines to take the ball. number 16. He just subbed in for uh, Jackson Waldron. 16, let me flip my sheet here, is Graham Leary. He just subbed in for Jackson just on wide set. receiver. Okay. And we got uh, Connor Haynes is playing wing back. He's in motion. I mean, Wiley's in the backfield. Yep, there the ball goes to Wiley McCutcheon. Uh, he's still going. Off he's he's off still going. Races he's off the now. races. If he can beat this last man here, we're looking at That's a touchdown. A touchdown. <laughs> there you go. One play, one touchdown. Wiley McCutcheon with that a 49 yard touchdown. That was fantastic. Nice clean play, no flags. I think they kind of threw him off when they put that tall kid in a wide receiver. They oh, yeah. Throw. That, was about a, that was a pretty good 50 yard run. That was an excellent play. Free burger from the coaches. <laughs> All right, so the Wolverines said they're going to go for two here. Going for two again. Boy, they got to get these lights turned back on here soon. Yeah, it's getting pretty dark here. Yeah. All right, so here's the snap. 
We've got uh, a little motion there, and I oh, it's a pass, and it's all over Chris, and he just can't reel it in. It kind of kind of went on his back shoulder and actually landed there, and he kind of fumbled it around and dropped it. So, uh, two point conversion was a failure. So we're still at uh, twelve to nothing with a minute forty eight in the first quarter. Oh, uh, let's see. I'll thank our sponsors again, Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Survey, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation. Uh, where was that on my list here? Star Excavation and Septic and Island Petroleum Services. You, so, you, uh, you missed the touchdown on the camera there, Ken. <laughs> Yeah, he missed the touchdown on the camera. I just got a text about that. <laughs> yeah, from like, you missed the touchdown. You missed filming the touchdown. <laughs> hey, just a little like uh, a little camera technical difficulty there. <clears throat> so we're uh, twelve to nothing, like I said, with a minute forty-eight left in the first quarter. Still a little dark out there. We're hoping they get those lights figured out here in a moment. Wolverine set the kickoff. Looks like we're gonna have to have a ball holder again. It's a little, uh, still a little breezy out there. I can imagine if it gets much darker, they're not gonna keep playing. Yeah, they're gonna have to call a little bit of an intermission here in a sec. Get the lights turned back on. I don't know what's going on with the lights. I see people running around the track and stuff. Yeah. Seeing what's going on. All right, here we go with the kickoff. It is going to be a line drive oh, kick squib, right, right off number 32. 22. Ball's bouncing around. Number nine. That hit 22 right in the helmet. Was that number 22? Number yeah. nine gets the recovers the ball. That's Isaac Kitchen. And I thought, it, did you say it hit 22? Yeah, right in that the face. That's Reese Merritt. 22 got hit right in the face. Right off the melon. All right, so that puts uh, LeConnor on their own 40, I'm going to say. No, 54, their own 30-yard line. Is that where the spot is? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So first and 10 from the corner on their own 30. Uh, bear with us here. It is a little tougher to see now that the lights are out on numbers. There's always something going on in the corner. <laughs> well, sometimes on these lights, if you turn them off right away, you can't turn them on for. Yeah. There, there is a delay on them, so. All right, so number 74 went in for the corner there at the end. They must have been laid off the bench. They're calling their play. They're up to the ball. It's like we're running same formation, wing back on the near side to us, the right side. Uh, no wide receiver, though. And we're, it looks like a fumble on the snap. Looks like the looks Wolverines like are back. pretty excited. I think they got the ball there. Um, who got the recovery? Do we know? Oh, yep. Yeah, I think they're saying it's us. I think that's Connor Haynes with the recovery on the bad snap. Good on him. So it looks like we get a, 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 a mirror of last week. Instead of us turning over the ball, it's the other team turning over the ball. Yeah. We're to be capitalizing um, in our last, last couple of plays, I've noticed their center hasn't really uh, been delivering. Got a little sloppy on the snap. All right, so we get the turnover the here. And, stick his hands in further. and moved it just a hair inside the 30. So they're on the 20, LeConnor 29. And the Wolverines line up on the ball. Is that still Jackson or is that uh, that's Jackson Waldron back in at wide receiver? Connor Haynes Connor in motion Haynes. from the wing back. And the inside handoff there to Wiley, but he, I think it was Wiley, wasn't it? Wiley McCutcheon? Uh, no, Connor Haynes took the ball. No, oh, that's. 14. Was that 14? Yeah. Oh, so it was that inside handoff play then? Okay. Yeah, it was, I that, got it. it was that wing back play on the weak side. Right. So just a short gain there for the Wolverines. Looks like uh, four yards, maybe five. Wolverines at the line. There goes motion across the back. And handoff to, I think it was. That was Wiley. Was it Wiley? He got a bit stuffed up though. Yeah, the hole kind of collapsed pretty quick there. Um, that's our, that's our uh, most called play usually. I think they just read that pretty well. Yeah. So that play really didn't go anywhere, so maybe a yard on the play. So we're looking at third and four. Wolverines back to the ball. Uh, so yeah, I'm, there it goes. Oh, that looks like a false start all over the place. Broken play. Dylan, Dylan Roberson's running. running. He's got a stiff arm on the first I guy. He got the first. Just, just right there at the marker. I'm not sure they're going to mark that a first down. Uh, let's see where they 
the officials decide to split this up. I got a, I see a fist in the air, so I'm going to assume that's fourth down. Nope, nope, we're getting a fist from the other. Yeah, white hat gave it a first down. So first down for the uh, Wolverines on the 20, just inside the LeConnor 20. I think they're going to let the clock run out here on the quarter. Yeah, I'll give them more time to get the lights back on. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> All right, that looks like the end of the first quarter. I haven't heard a honk or a whistle or a beep or anything, but the clock's at zero. The officials pointing at the clock. The players are going to the bench, so we're not going to get a horn or anything here. Uh, so that's the end of the first quarter. We're going to go through our sponsors again. Uh, let's see. Back to the top here. If I scroll through my sheet. Uh, Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Freddy Harbor Electric, San Juan Survey, Moore Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, Star Station and Septic, Island Home Petroleum Services. And I keep leaving off the very beginning, the Browns Home Center is also the sponsor. Your, your, the Iowa's only full service building supply center. So we got a quarter in the books here. It's 12 to nothing for the Wolverines. Uh, we're about to switch sides, which means the LeConnor will have the wind at their back. The Wolverines will be going into the wind. Um, currently it's getting darker and darker because they switched off the main overhead lights and turned on the lights in the seating area. So we're hoping they can figure think, their little I think electrical. We might be able to see a couple passes this quarter too. Yeah, see the little electrical snafu figured out. See if they can get these lights on. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have to probably start delaying because it's almost to the point where it's going to be hard to see as a player and an official to call a game. Um, looks like he's calling the Wolverines over right now. The White Hat is. So I wonder if we're going to have a delay. Yeah, I'm sure the boys won't be happy if the ride back to the ferry is very quick. <laughs> Oh, I don't. Not, we're not going to cancel that for it. I got to oh, have. I know, but that, that, perhaps we can find Root Electric to go have that, a look uh, at their lights for them. That that, <laughs> po that post game McDonald's is crucial to a Friday night after a game. <laughs> well, they got lots of time for that. Both not till eleven twenty or whatever. Oh, oh, I see the light. One light has come on. They're turning on. They're warming up here. Like I said, some of these lights. Some of these lights take a while to warm back up after you've had them on and off. Yeah, like they're that. starting to go. We're going to take a break your timeout right now. Break your timeout. Break your timeout. Refs are going to stop the game for a bit. Let well, the lights turn on. we got one light on each tower. Here's two lights. Yeah, they're coming. Well, they should already be warm, so that's the nice part. We're warm enough. All right, what are our impressions of the first quarter then, Ian? Oh, if they just keep playing on their plan, it's going to be great. You know, I kind of, I, I kind of like what I saw. They, they, you know, I've, I've seen little to no mistakes at all, both sides of the ball. You just had that one bad snap, and that was kind of it. Yeah, one bad snap, one broken play, but nothing wrong with that. Well, broken plays happen, and, and it, you know, it was it was improvised enough to get the first down. Le so that was Le good. only had like two first downs. I want to say maybe less. Like uh, one, one or two. I think two. I'm gonna guess two. I don't know if anybody heard it or not, but it takes a while. Well, they only has to get bright enough to play. No, I know, but it's a lot better than it was a few minutes ago. They were playing on that. Yeah, so field field starting to brighten up now. Yeah. So as we're waiting for the lights to start up here, so you know, like you know, we're the first quarter. I thought we saw a much improvement for ball handling from the last two games. From the yes. last last game, and we also saw. I think it was a little more focused. They looked very focused in the place. They're looking a little tighter, a little crisp. Um, you know, and that's tough after a loss like that too. When you when you felt you were doing the right things, but you still lost the game because of turnovers. I mean, I mean, I've I've seen a bit of a pattern even when I was playing. Our first two weeks are we, we could win, we could lose, it, but we wouldn't be playing very tight. And yeah. There'd be that third week of practice in the regular season that's just like all conditioning. Yeah. Like Jeffrey told me earlier this week, <laughs> and now they're just playing how they. Oh, they should play. They're, they're mid-season form already. They're good to go. <laughs> All right. Well, they got the whistle here. The LeConnors lined up on the ball. So we'll see what they got here with the wind at their back. Although the wind has actually kind of died down a little bit, so it's kind of a little late. Uh-huh. That was a bad handoff there. So the uh, Wolverine handoff there to the left side Connor's was a bit slow to get up. Yeah, Connor got a little crunch there. Is that, that Connor? No, that's, no, Wiley. that's Wiley. Wiley's slow to get up. So it was a, a, 
essentially a weak side run, what they were doing, almost like a little counter, and uh, that didn't fool the Connor at all. They kind of swarmed back there and made the tackle. It's like a loss of five on the play. So we'll see if the Wolverines can reset here. And go uh, kind of a wing back in motion. Here he goes, coming across the front. Hand off to the, looks like Connor switched to the back. And they roll him forward for five. So he's back to the original line of scrimmage. So it's going to be third and ten. Third and ten here. It was a game. What are they talking about? Are they watching the same game we're watching? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> They're trying. It's not third and forever. It's third and ten. Well, I'd say maybe another yard. Third and eleven. All right. Wolverines line up for the play. No, no motion that time. Direct that goes to Connor in the back. He's got oh. a nice block out front. That's a touchdown. Splits the defenders. That's a touchdown. It's like a touchdown for Connor Haynes. Untouched. Yeah, a nice, easy play. No flags on the play. That was great. Excellent run. Yeah, they didn't run the motion that time. Just went straight into the play. I think, it, I think Connor was almost sleeping on it. I think, yeah, I think that uh, messed him up a bit. Yeah, they, they, you know, they, most of the time the Wolverines run a little motion there with their wing back, and every once in a while they don't. And That's I think that. Kind of took LaConnor by surprise. He didn't expect to play the snap. That's what's great about our offense, though. You can change so many things, like just barely, and then it's just completely different. All right, we got the Wolverines going for two again. Uh, looks like Pierce at wing back. He's in motion. It's like handoff to Connor Haynes, and I he's think he's been. in this time. So that's two point conversion for the Wolverines. Twenty to nothing. So we're up to twenty to nothing with ten thirty seven in the second quarter. And we're going to go through our sponsors again if my silly page stops scrolling all the way. Uh, so we see we got uh, Brown's Home Center, the Iowa's only full service building supply center, Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Freddie Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Freddie Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. Oh, they got the bass drum in now. Uh oh. <laughs> no bass drum for Purdue. Did you see that? No. Well, they changed the entrance at uh, Notre Dame, if anybody watches college football. Um, they used to use the same entrance to the field uh, the Notre Dame band did and the visiting side did, and it was way down at the end. It was a nice big opening. Uh, about a few years ago, they redesigned the stadium so there's a visitor's entrance for their equipment and their team. And if you were a large lineman, say 6'8", 350, you'd have a hard time making it through there. Oh, yeah. And if you've ever seen the Purdue drum, it is about 10 inches in diameter and huge, and there's no way they're cramming that drum through that little hole. So this will be the first game that Purdue has not used that drum in a game since, hmm. like, since 1976 or something like that. I, I saw a little story there not, on the news. Did not know that. All right, here's the Wolverines for the kickoff. It's like Connor Haynes is holding the ball. And into the win, a little squib kick, bounce, Who's bounce, that? bounce, Who's and LeConner picked it up. He's coming back to our direction. A little Jack, stutter step. Oh, Jack, Jack Mason, Jack Mason, Mason with the that. easy tackle. He had nowhere to go. Looks like uh, first and 10 for LeConner on their own 35 yard line. <clears throat> Let's see. You can see Jeffrey Volk a little more on this side today. Oh, true that. This, this quarter. All righty. Wolverines are ready. lacconner has got half their team out there. They're working on the rest of the guys. Here they come right now. Looks like they're still short of man, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only ten guys out there, aren't there? For the Wolverines or for LeConnor? No, for LeConnor. I think they could do short. Um, maybe. Uh, they want to play with ten. That's fine with me. <laughs> Somebody will notice it. <laughs> no, I guess they got a lot of it. All right, they're up the huddle. They're coming off to the line. Uh, let's see, they're running the wing back. On oh, they did have 10. Yeah, I was right. I think count 10. All right, so they got both their guys out there. They got the wing back on the far side, the wide receivers on our side. Uh, it was an offset back situation. Oh, that was the, easy. Oh, wow. Easily stuffed. Who's that? That was Chris uh, Gustafson. Chris and, and who's that number? 50? 50. Number 50. 50. Which I don't have my roster. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know who that is. Well, they stuffed the runner. Uh, but they did stuff the play for a, I think a little two-yard loss on the play. So now second and 12. Uh, Connor's got the play in. They're doing a little chat about what they want to do here. 
they changed their backspacing, though. It was uh, kind of like yeah. offset behind the quarterback and an even pair. And now they've got one straight back, one off behind the left tackle, and then yeah, the wing off. back on the other side. So they're it's kind of like. A, they're going to run a sleep to that off back. Yeah, and that didn't we work. Read that perfectly. Chris Gustafson with the tackle there for a Again. loss. <laughs> Looks like a. Second, second play in a row for him. Seven yard loss? Just about. Oh, that's a pretty generous. That's a pretty generous spot. Yeah, Five yard loss. We've been kind of seeing that. Yeah, all game. so we're looking at third and I want to say 18 from where they're at. The scoreboard hasn't updated, but it looks like about yeah, eight, looks like about 17 or 18. Yeah, I'm gonna say third and 18. All right, so yeah, so this little back change they've done it hasn't seemed to really help LeConner at all. No. Uh, if anything, we're reading the plays even better now. Well, what they're trying to—I can see what they're trying to do. They're trying to get that other back there to have, so they can run either direction, so they can run yeah. strong or weak with those both with those dual but running they're, backs. They're spread apart. Well, there's a snap, and it just blew right through the line, made the tackle. Does that count as a sack? Uh, that is a sack because it <laughs> never got handed <laughs> off. And who was that? Uh, number fifty. Number fifty. Still don't yeah. know who that is. Oh, here comes the rain. Down, down. A little sprinkle there. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, we don't know who number 50 is. He's not on our roster. Um, I could guess it might be Marcus Soto, but I'm not 100% sure because he's normally 55. Um, so, hopefully we can find out. Maybe someone, the, the parents that are here watching on the sideline can find out and let us know. So, would we just change? Oh, well, we're, we're looking for the punt here. They just switched up our men in the backfield. They got Jackson Waldron back to receive. Move Dylan Roberson up, but uh, LeConner is not going to punt. So Jackson's going to have to play a little safety. Here comes the play. It's like they're going to try to do a reverse pitch. That's a fumble. Toss sweep. Fumble and, and uh, oh, Jeffrey's getting on there with uh, number 54 there. All right. So that was a kind of a busted play. I think they're going to try to do a, a screen to 54, and yeah, that all got broken up. So balls turned over on downs, or did they mark that a loss? Turnover on downs. Yeah. Looked like a fumble to me, to be honest. Yeah, I thought I so, too. I well, now we're, really now we're counting off back to the line of scrimmage. I couldn't see a throwing motion really at all in that one. I think they're going to give him a forward throw and not call it incomplete. They're going to call it incomplete because they're putting the ball where the fourth down marker was. Yeah. All right. So, the LeConner turns it over on downs. Uh, it'll be Freddie Harbor ball on the LeConner 35. Am I reading that right? No, 25. 25. LeConner, the LeConner 25. Well, Marines are ready to rock. We're waiting on the chains to get set. Yeah, they've been giving us some pretty good spotting all game. Haven't had a lot of room. Well. So we got Connor Haynes is the deep back, and is that uh, Wiley or Pierce there on the wing? I can't tell until they turn and we can see looks his like, number. Looks like Wiley to me. It does nope. look like. Yeah, yeah, it is Wiley. Wiley McCutcheon in motion. Ball goes to him, or was that Chris? Chris. I think it was Chris Gustafson. Yep. They fake the hand off to Wiley. Give it to Chris. Down. Gets about seven yards. And about three players down with him. Yeah. Good movement of the ball there. So we're looking at uh, second and third. Or second and three. Second and third. Chris dropped a towel or something. Uh, something. Glove. Chuck, he chucked it over there, whatever it was. Clean off the field. It's a good catch by Coach McKay. So here come the Wolverines to the ball. Uh, looks like we're at the same formation, same player. So McCutcheon at the wing back spot. Uh, Connor Haynes at the deep spot. No motion. Pitch to Connor Haynes. He's going out around the edge. Number four in pursuit. Looks like number four made the tackle there. There's that's a flag. That's a horse collar. Oh, let's see what we got here. Number four made the tackle. That's Anthony Pena. Uh, it was a nice run for about 10, 12 yards. He was just... Yeah, I don't know what they're going to call the penalty on, but I'm pretty sure I saw Connor go down by yeah. the back of his collar. Connor went over to give the ball to the officials, maybe give him a little, hey, what's the call here, guys? The White Hat's in with two of the guys. The two of the other uh, officials are trying to decide what they're going to call here. Dylan Roberson went over got the play. Braves He's back. Are, Braves are slopping D lineman again. Yeah. They pick up the laundry, and what do we got? Here comes the official. We're going to call... I'm not sure what that, that call was. No foul on the play? No, no. no they per personal foul? I think it's a personal foul. Per but horse they, collar. Yeah, but how can they call a horse collar on us? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's true. I'm not sure. 
So it was a personal foul on the Wolverines. We couldn't really see uh, what the actual call was, but yeah. it was obviously at the end of the run. Well, when he throws his arms out like that, I'm pretty sure that's unsportsmanlike. Yeah, so they must, we must have blocked out of bounds or something like that. Yeah. So the, the play was completed. The penalty was after the play, which should have made it a first down and then moved back, but instead they move it back to the third down. That was a strange series of events. So it shoots third and seven right now. And here comes motion. Handed off to Connor. Up the middle. Connor gets back the yard. Oh, he broke tackles. The end He's zone. in the touchdown now. So that looks like a touchdown for the Wolverines for Connor Haynes. Ball, uh, don't, ball don't lie. So we're going to go. I think it looks like we're going to. I think the Wolverines Probably are going to go for two going again. Going for two here with the win. We're not going to mess around we kicking the ball. We don't want to kick today. So we're going to line up here and go for two. But going back to that penalty. If, if it's on us and we get the first down, the first down should stand, and then they should call the unsportsmanlike conduct and move the ball back from the first down, right? Yeah. They should have moved it back. Know, I don't even know what the call is. Third down. Well, here comes the play right now. Uh, we got motion there. Looks like Wiley McCutcheon slowly in motion. Here's the snap. Handoff to Connor Haynes, He's who in. is in the end zone for the two points. Un untouched once again. <laughs> So we're looking at uh, 28 for the Wolverines, zero for LeConnor. We've got 6.51 left in the second quarter. Uh, it's looking pretty good for the boys. Or I can say 6.51 left in the first half. Read you our sponsors here. Sponsors for Wolverines on uh, Freddie Harbor Tiny TV. Uh, Browns Home Center, the Iowans only full service building supply center. Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Freddie Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Freddie Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. So in all in all, it was a, it's the same kind of football we've seen from the Wolverines tonight. Oh, Pretty yeah. steady drive. It's just that odd um, penalty there, which um, I don't think the officials called correctly. But Aaron, now that it was a personal foul. Well, it was, but like according to Ma, right? But, but but my point is though, if it's on the Wolverines and yeah. it's after the play is concluded, and the play concluded in a first down, well, it should be a first down, and then they take you back 15 from the first down, and then you have a first down from that well, mark. That's your two B refs for you. But I on, I only coach football. I never officiate it, so I'm just going with um, what I think should happen. 50 but. is also Victor. From what I've heard, so that's from, what I thought from Ma again. So that's Victor Velasquez. So on our roster, he's number forty. So obviously Victor, I, and that makes sense because he's kicking off and Victor kicks the ball. So we'll get Victor's name out there correct now that we've got it all lined up. He's been playing good so far. He's, he's had a good he game. He deserves it. Yeah, there's another uh, bouncing good, good bounce. Oh, look at this squib dying kick. right there. Picked up by number four, and he gets back up to the forty-yard line for the Connor. Tackled by uh, Chris and. Chris Guffs Chris and Mason. And, oh, good. Mason's in there. Excellent. All right. So, LaConnor ball here on their own 40-yard line, first and 10. Looks like they got, looks like they're still short a guy again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They got uh, nine this quarter, time. Quarterback getting the play. Yeah, but count the guys out there. Um... Yeah, it looks like about 10 it's, guys. It's 10 again, right? Yep, they're yelling at the sideline. Yep, there he goes. Number 11. Oh, here he comes. Boy, your third game of the season, you got a guy who's got to be on that stuff. That's kind of things get you in lines in the practice. Oh, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right, the Connors got their play in. They're going to come to the line here. And looks like we're going to an I formation. With two wide receivers on the far side, one wide receiver now, this on the near is, side. This is something I'm used to seeing. This them is normal LaConnor plays here, but so they got the ball, they got the win behind them now. So we're quarterback gonna, keeper. Yeah, quarterback keeper. And that was not correct. That was not eye formation. It was a single back with a shotgun. This so the quarterback takes the ball on a keeper. That gets him. Uh, that's Isaac Kitchen with probably a Five or six. six yard gain. That makes it third and or second and four. Pardon me. And yeah, Connor's like in with the play. It looks like they changed one guy out there. Looks like they're into their third different formation of the game. Yeah, well, that last one. Trying to find something that works. That last <laughs> one wasn't cutting the mustard, so it's this is this is a little more traditional I've seen from the Connor. Yeah. All right, so same thing again. We got two wide receivers to the far side, one to the near. We got uh, the quarterback and a shotgun. Uh, it's actually more of a pistol formation. They got that classic lineman spread too, where all the linemen are off yeah. the ball. Pistol formation. We Weird. got the running back right next to the quarterback. And he keeps it, 
Direct snap keeper. again, and we're on top of him. Jeffrey Volk with the tackle, and who else is in there? 50, 59. 59. 58. 58. It is 50. 55. 55. That was Marcus Soto and Jeffrey Volk with the tackle. And they got are just a yard short of the first down, so it's going to be third one. Marcus Soto just got subbed out for somebody. And we're going to look at a quick snap here. LaConnor went pretty quick with the play. Here we go. We're going, oh, it's a fumble. Right up. Yeah, fumble. Yeah, it looks like the Wolverines recovered the ball. There's a bunch of arms pointing that way. We'll see what the officials have to say. Yep. Looks like. That was number 50, wasn't it? They got the ball. Oh, 55. Yeah, no, it was 50. That was Victor. 50. So that's. Victor that's, with the recovery. Yeah, good job for him because uh, now we know his number is 50. Victor Velasquez with the fumble recovery on the bad snap by LeConnor. They threw Gavin Garcia in that play too. Oh, did they? On the D-line, yeah. Good for him. So we're looking at first and 10. He made a good crash. We're on the LeConnor 47, I want to say. 47. And let's see, someone's skinny there playing wing back. Who's that? Uh, Max Fields probably? No, he's, he's skinny. He just went straight up ahead without any motion. There's oh, he Connor Ames, the handoff. He just got a huge run for, I would say, 11, 12 yards. Well, so it's it's like a, I don't think it's Jackson. No, I was wing. talking about the wing back. I know. I don't. Yeah, I know. I see Jackson Well, there's there. Cody, Cody, uh, Cody Anderson as well. Oh, that might be it. And that, that looks like his build size. So we got a first down on 10, for 40, 35. I'm looking for a number. I think I see 80. 80. Again, that's not on the list. Hmm. No, it's 30, isn't it? 30? 30. It's it's 30. It's Pierce. Oh, okay. And he's in motion. Here's the snap. Hand up. It's a pass. Quick pass across the middle to Jackson, to Jackson Waldron. He's just carrying the guys trying to tackle him because they're grabbing to grab the ball out of his hands. Uh, first down. Really close to a first down. Looks I like think, they got I, it. I yeah. think they're going to give it to him. Yeah, they're going to spot it past. So it's going to be... Uh, First down on the 25? 25. Yep. First and 10 for the Wolverines on the 25. It's like uh, we're going a little bit of quick offense four, here. Four and a half minutes left in the half. we got got uh, motion here by Pierce. Hand off to Connor. Oh, Whoa. he bounces it's off his guy. There's a holding call on the end there. That the, there it is. spin move there by Wiley. Uh, there's going to be a holding on the Wolverines. It was yeah. pretty obvious on the end of the line there. It's a good spin move, though. That would be the left tackle on that side. They don't want a tight end on the left, right? Tight end's on the right. Tight end's on the right. Yeah, so whoever in the line was on the left for the uh, Wolverines had to hold. So they're going to chat about that for a minute. I'm surprised. the Yeah, it was a holding call. I saw it. So the Wolverines got up to about the 20. The flag was on the 25 where the down marker is. So we're going to probably count 10 off from there. That'll put the Wolverines back to the 35. There it is right there. So we're back to the Lacan 35, first and 20. Wolverines are back in the huddle now. They break the huddle, come to the line. See if we get some motion here. Klein in motion. There's the snap. Hand off to Chris Gustafson right up the gut. Gets about six yards, I want to say. Maybe five, five or six. So we're looking at uh, second down, 15 to go. And that'll be on uh, LeConner 30. Kind of been ignoring the LeConner tacklers, but, you know. Yeah. It's hard to tell in those big piles who's got who's making the tackle. Chris Chris gets going up the middle. There's ends up being five guys on him, so you can get yeah, split that tackle it's, it's five about, ways. It's about half the team at that point. Yeah. Speaking of half the team, LaConnor's looking a little undermanned this year. Yeah, it's looking pretty thin, huh? There he goes. No motion. Direct uh, direct spot over to Wiley. Wiley McCutcheon does a little cut. Gets out of a tackle. There's a block coming back. Wiley's running down the sideline. Tiptoe, tiptoe, he dove in, but there's a flag here. Looks like they're trying to get a. They're going to call that a blindside block. You think they're going to call it oh, like that? Pierce checked him pretty good, but that wasn't a blindside. Well, so someone turned around and came back for the Wolverines and blocked back into the play, oh, and I think yeah. they're going to call that a blindside block, even though it technically was not a blindside block. Because uh, the LeConnor guys saw it coming because it was face to face right like a head on truck. <laughs> 
But I have a feeling that's what they're going to call. Let's see what the call is here. That was a good string of blocks by the skilled players to get all the way down there, though. Yeah, that was a nice block. Wally made that nice cut there on the outside that sprung the edge. Oop. Hey, Ken. Ken. Ken, his mic cut out. His mic just cut out. All right, so can uh, you there you go. Now okay. you're back. Jackpot. Uh, so they're marking the penalty off from where they threw the flag. So we're back. So that would be a blindside hit. Yeah. Or, or a block in the back, so whatever you want to call it. It's still a gain of seven on the play. And it looks like we're going to be second down Stand and eight. second down. So second and eight, right? Yeah. We're on the LeConner. Where are we at? 23, it looks this, like. This is some rather strange and officiating. Yeah, I'm not a super fan of it. Anyway, so we're going to motion. No, no motion again. And same about, about the same play while well, I was trying to cut in on it. Gets just a couple yards this time. So, uh, looks like Wiley's going to. Looks like Connor's coming back in. Isn't that Connor right there? No. Who is that? Yeah. <laughs> so, Connor's, Connor Haynes is back in. Wiley McCutcheon's out. We are uh, third and seven. We're on the on the near side of the field, which makes a nice long field to the to the weak side for the Wolverines. So this could be a time for a toss counter. Uh, let's see if we get some motion or not. That'll kind of tell us. Klein in motion. Here comes the play, pass play. So it's going to be an out route. Oh, that's a good and pass. Someone's wide open with a touchdown. I guess, oh, incomplete. Did he drop it? What? He dropped it in the end zone. Oh, my goodness. That was a great throw by Dylan. Oh, yeah, right, was, right into the wind. Yeah, so it was a little uh, fake fake route across the middle. He turned back and curled and went straight to the goal line. Was wide open, and it looks like he just dropped the pass for an incomplete. Yeah. So that's going to bring up uh, fourth and seven for the Wolverines on the LeConner 23. I've never seen this run a play like that before. Well, it was. You know, I could see what it was, but yeah. it was, I was surprised he dropped the ball because it was. I thought he caught it. Yeah, I thought he caught it too. I mean, he's gonna have a good picture of it. Is uh, John Stimson over there taking photos? Oh yeah. All right, so we're back to the play here. Fourth down. Uh, Klein in motion. Here's the snap. Uh, it's a pass play again. Uh, looks like Dylan's gonna Dylan's run gonna it. Dylan Roberson's it. keeping it. He's kind of trying to cut up. He did not get the first down. Got tackled. No, he did. Well, the far side official has got it as a first down, and the near side official says, no way, it's short. So they're spotted about a yard short of the first down. So this, I think, I'm going to turn over on down to so LaConnor here. Huh. So we're going to get a change, change of possession here. LaConnor Le Le gets the ball. Wolverine's going on defense. We've got uh, two minutes and 12 seconds left in the half. I'm going to do our sponsors again. Brown's Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center. Uh, Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haywood's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation Septic, Island Petroleum Services. So what do you think of that, Ian? Um, well... Oh, now we get a timeout. Oh, here we go again. Uh, I think LaConnor, it's LaConnor taking the timeout. Yeah, LaConnor's yeah. taking a timeout. Something with the officiating right now. Well, I mean, we're, we're winning, so I'm not going to complain about it. But No, but it's been a couple of odd interpretations yeah. of the rules. That's I noticed that it I rained them. for about 30 seconds. Yeah, it kind of just blew through, and didn't it? Now it's just dry again. <laughs> so LaConnor again went out there with 10 guys, and the coach had to take a timeout because they're kind of not quite getting their stuff together there. Uh, so we're waiting on that. Yeah, you're right. It did kind of rain through, and then it cleared up again. Ugh. Little pet bands. The kind of the first time the pet bands really pepped up. Yeah. You gotta do that more in just timeouts, right? I think. I think once that kid with the big drum came by, they started playing more. <laughs> All right, well, it's like lacconner has got their play figured out, so they're coming back out on the field. Uh, they're lining up on the ball. Wolverine's on the ball. We're about ready to get going here. So it looks like we're back to the, the previous sets. Four wide receivers with uh, the pistol formation for the quarterback. He's looking back to throw across the middle. Oh, oh. two Wolverines run into each other instead of calling the ball and making the interception. 
It was uh, that was Dylan, uh, and Dylan Robertson and who's that? 65. 65. That's uh, that's uh, Max Fields. He's coming off the ball now. Yeah, you got to call the ball. That, that was a clear interception. They just didn't uh, He's decide. Get it. <laughs> didn't decide he was going to get it. So Max is getting coached up a little bit right now. Uh, Max came out. We've got number uh, 16 in. That is uh, Graham Leary. Uh, I believe he's our Lopez player. Oh. All right. So, Connor's going to come out again. We got the, we're doing the same thing. Four wide receivers, quarterbacks in the pistol with the with the running back. So, five linemen. Uh, LaConnor looking to snap the shotgun play. Here's the ball. We're looking back to pass. Looks across the middle. Now he's going to look like he's going to run. Nope. Across the middle. Interception. Intercepted by Connor Haynes. And he, he ran looks it, like he, he ran that back. That's there's, pick there's six. There's a touchdown, pick six for the Wolverines. Oh, is there a flag? Is it a flag? I don't even know. Oh, uh, there's, that. there's one over here. There's a flag on the near side by that the uh, LaConnor sideline. That looked pretty clean to me. And if I'm going to say that that's a flag there, I'm going to say it's going to probably be on uh, defensive holding. Oh, wouldn't, boy. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, probably. Yeah, where that flag's located. So it's probably going to be uh, – Defensive holding on the Wolverines on the wide receiver. So that would have been uh, either 16 or uh, who else is on the side? Uh, 54, depending on uh, where we're going to come up with that. I don't really agree with that call. Well, I didn't see it. So I, I didn't see it, but the rest of it looked pretty clean to me. There's just a lot of discussion about it, though. I didn't, I didn't see any receivers getting pushed back or not. Well, they would have been holding them up on their route. That's yeah. what they would have called. So but. let's see what the officials have to say about this. We're talking, we're thinking, we're talking. We're counting in diagonal directions. No one's counting yardage. Mm. Now we're I think we've made again. a couple subs there. Still confirming. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with the announcer. We're still confirming. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, guys. It's the third game of the season. You've got to get this stuff together. So it's, well, it it's going to be defensive holding on the uh, Wolverines. And they're going to mark it a first down. Well, call back that pick six. That would have been pretty cool. All right, so it's going to be first down for LaConnor on the 30, right? 50, 30, 30, 30 yep, 30-yard 30 30 like, line. 30, like 2, 31. It's hard to call the lines. They're all knocked over on the far side, so it's hard to see where we're at. Well, they picked the 31 up, actually. And there we go, LaConnor with the snap. He's going to throw Chris it. Chris Guffs is in with the block Swat on the pass. Down. Good block on the pass there by Chris. Oh, and here comes another flag. And another flag. Flag on the flag. Oh, the ref threw that one pretty high in the air. I saw that. Seemed a little excited. Almost like a flare. Yeah. Well, now what are we going to call here? So, celebration. What are we, what are we calling here? Well, looks like it's going to be on the corner. Go with the ball. It's facing the other way. Yep. So that just looks usually the roughing the passer call, isn't it? The way that he smacked his arm like that? No, that was something else. I think uh, that was unnecessary roughness. Oh, well, yeah, I think you're right. That's what it was. So that should be 15 yarder then. I don't know who won, but. 5, 10, yep, 15. 15. So, so now we're back on LeConnor. <coughs> Excuse me. 5, 10, 15. Yeah. 15. Uh, Maybe. All right. Maybe so more. Second and 25 <coughs> from the LaConnor 18, 15 yard line, somewhere in there. Something like that. It's hard to tell exactly where they're at there. LaConnor with the snap. He's looking back to pass. He looks left. He's running right. Here comes Chris Gustafson. And the play is over. <laughs> Well, I'd say Chris is having himself a good defensive game. Yeah, that was a coverage sack, as yeah, they say. But it's like his third one. Yeah. Well, they're not going to run this offense for much longer. Yeah. The guy's got no protection, and the coverage downfield is excellent, so all they're doing is sacking the quarterback. Yeah, it seems like no matter what offensive scheme LaConnor keeps switching to, it's just not yeah, working. It's not working out for him. So 5, 10, 15. I want to say it's on the LaConnor 16 yard line. So we're looking at third and 24, right? 25, third and 25. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you say? Bubba said the refs are on Jeffrey about cussing. <laughs> <laughs> we, 
We shouldn't say that on the radio. <laughs> All right, so Sakana with the ball, third down. They're looking back to snap. They take it under center, and then try to do looks like a inside handoff that goes absolutely nowhere. Uh, so we're gonna look in like another loss. Maybe. No, that was loss of two. Three yard loss, Court, the announcer doesn't know what he's talking about there. So we're looking at uh, five, 10, looks like the 12, 13 yard line. Fourth and a million. <coughs> yep, we got, I think they can, they can probably let the clock run out. They're gonna have to run a play. I are we, are we receiving at the oh. beginning of the half? Somebody took a timeout and the clock's not stopped. Hey, there we go. The All right, thing, the so it looks like out. the Wolverines took a timeout to stop the clock so they can get the ball back. Uh, they let about 10 or 15 seconds run off the clock, though, in that process, so we'll see if the refs can get that figured out. Uh, we'll go back to our sponsors here. We got uh, Brown's Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply, Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, and the Tammy Cotton Agency. American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Girl, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, Star Excavation Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. So amazingly enough, we're still uh, in the first half. Fourth it's almost 8.05. Uh, so we get about 20, they put the seconds back on the clock, 25 seconds left. We're waiting on uh, Connor to kick here. And here we go. The Connor's gonna snap the ball. Oh, oh offside, false a, start. I, thought I it was think a that was a false start. False start. Yeah, I'm gonna go false start on that one. Move myself. back to fourth and 35. Yeah. Do, do, do so. Encroachment. Oh, they're gonna go five yards against the Wolverines here. <laughs> So that's going to make it fourth and 25. 25 now. And it gives LeConner a little more room to kick there, so not all the way up against their goal line. All right, here we go with the snap. Oh, low snap. He's having a hard time getting off. He's going to throw, and it is intercepted. They're saying incomplete. Oh, I thought, I thought Connor had that. All I, right. thought, I thought Connor Incomplete had that. Incomplete class. Uh, Connor Haynes with the breakup. So the Wolverines take over with 17 seconds left in the half. Uh, looks like they're going to be on the LeConnor. Where are we at here? 5, 10, 15, 20. 20, 20 yard line. Does that look right? I oh, think less than that. It's going to be like the 19, 18. I think they're probably just going to need out, though. Uh, uh, so it's. Uh, Oh, you guys ran past the ball there. Easy. <laughs> so first and 10 on the LeConner 18-yard line with 17 seconds left. Uh, we'll see what the Wolverines have planned here, if they're going to kneel it or they're going to run a play. Uh, Dylan Roberson up under center. That looks like a kneel formation. Mm -hmm. Got motion. Oh, never mind. And here comes the snap. Pass play. Gives a little head fake. Puts Launched it in the it. air. Oh, broke up at the last minute by, is that number four? <laughs> Broken up by number four, Anthony Pena at the last moment. That looked like it was going to be a touchdown there to uh, Jackson Waldron. So that takes uh, six seconds off the clock. We 11 seconds left for the Wolverines. Out of the huddle, we're up to the line. Dylan Roberson under center. No motion from Klein. Hand off to Connor Haynes. He's going around the outside edge. Great. Lots of Wolverines out there. That was an easy touchdown. No flag on the play. Clean touchdown for the Wolverines. So that's another six on the board. That's 34 with uh, about half, half a second. Half a second. second. I think that's oh. half a second. Wow. So we're going to have time to kick the or go the extra point here, and the half will be over. How many points do they usually score until they start running the clock? Oh, uh, I think it's 35, so we'll be on a running clock in the second half. Sounds Unless good. Unless LeConnor scores some points. Yeah. So we're actually going to kick. So Dylan Roberson set the hold, and it should be uh, Victor. Victor. And it's up. Oh, and that was Boy, great. that looks good to me. That was great. <laughs> yeah, it's way good. So extra point by Victor Velasquez is good. That gives the Wolverines 
37, is that right, or 36? 35. 35, 35 points. So Wolverines 35, LaConnor 0, uh, with a half second left in the half. So I'm assuming we'll get a quick kickoff here, and then we'll be going to halftime. Uh, let's see. I'm going to wait for the kickoff here. We'll go to the halftime show and do our sponsors then. Um, Wolverines are taking a little bit of time over there on the sideline. I guess they're probably just making sure everything comes out clean here. They don't want anybody to get hurt on a half-second kickoff because oh, it's yeah. pretty much going to end the half. I think in the age of safety nowadays, you probably just can the whole thing. You're going to go, yeah, that's cool. We're good. That, we're going to switch on that one. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll do a little halftime show. We'll do a halftime show. So what camera are we on right now? I'll switch it. Well, let's, let's film the kickoff, and then we'll switch. All right, so we're going to do a quick kickoff here. we got a half second left in this half. And then it looks like the LeConner is going to do some player introductions at halftime. I'm not sure what event they've got going on. Oh, who knows at this point. All right, so we're holding the ball here. It's Connor holding the ball for Victor. And here's the kick, a nice little squibber. Oh, yeah. And that's it. Half's over. No. no, we've got 0.4 seconds. <laughs> someone's, a little, someone's a little fast on that clock trigger there. Hair trigger. All right, so LaConnor looks like he's going to get to run one play here, and then we should go to the half. Uh, let's see, there are a couple guys limping off the field for LaConnor. It looks like they're speeding up, though, as they get over the sideline. Looks like LaConnor is calling for somebody because they're short a guy again. Oh, here there he, he comes. is. All righty, so LaConnor's in the huddle. They're ready to go here for the last play of the half. I wonder if they're going to kneel it. I, uh, it could possibly be. I, I would think they, it's the first half. They'll probably run a play. All right, you got uh, two wide receivers on the left, wing back on the right with a quarterback under center. He's going to roll the other side. They're going to reverse. And Number pass. four is going to pass. Dylan Roberson has his eyeball picked on it, it off. and has picked off the ball. He is running it back past the 30, the 40. He's up to the just out of bounds at the 49-yard line of Freddie Harbor. That was, that was a good little salt on the wound. So I just saw that's number 15 gonna, throw his helmet. Yeah, that should be an unsportsmanlike <laughs> penalty, but nobody's watching, so there we go. All right, so that's the end of the half. The 49ers intercept. 49ers. 49ers. The Wolverines intercept the ball and end the first half. So we're going to go to our halftime show. I'll get my glasses back on here. And see if I can find my script here. Uh, all right. So actually, I don't have the halftime show. Halftime show here I'm in front of me. So we'll just go through our sponsors first. Uh, I want to thank the, let's see, it's Brown's Home Center. That one's only full service building supply. Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, and the Tammy Cotton Agency. American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Survey, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, Star Station Septic, Island Petroleum Services. All right, Ian, so what's your thoughts on the first half? Oh, it seems like it's going to be a pretty fun boat ride home. <laughs> well, we're not taking the boat ride, though. Well, we're not taking it. I mean, the, team, the, the team's going to have a good boat the ride. The boys out. are going to have some fun tonight, for sure. Well, i got to say, um, it seems a reversal of our last game. Um, as far as turnovers go, because LaConnor had a couple turnovers there. and Yeah. Couldn't really seem to recover from that. Um, we're, on that we're on that camera there. So uh, so other than that, though, I thought the Wolverines, uh, you know, they had a little, the first drive was pretty strong. The second, they had that little fumble there, but that was, seemed to be the only real scare there. They seemed to settle down pretty well. Yeah. A um, couple plays called back by penalties. Yeah. Questionable penalties. I, I, I'd I'm, say I, I'm kind of more concerned about the interpretation of the rule book than the yeah. penalty, but yeah. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty strong half by the Wolverines. Uh, played their game inside running. Yeah, you know, nothing too crazy. A couple pass plays there when the wind died down. And yeah, it was looking good for them for a bit. And I mean, in my head, it's 49 to nothing. Yeah, but yeah, I think I think you're right there. Um, it's it's kind of I like the pass plays I saw. I mean, they, yeah. they were nice little routes. He was 
So it's kind of almost looked like he ran a post route and then ran a hitch to the other corner. So he was going right to the corner of the end yeah. zone. And the one play, it totally fooled LaConner completely when he didn't catch. That last play in the end zone, it was that guy on LaConner was expected at that time. He made the play to keep that ball yeah. out of the end zone. Um, but other than that, it's been a pretty strong um, pretty strong half by the Wolverines' defense and offense. Mm-hmm. Um, LaConner's been struggling, and, you know, not knowing how their first game went against Salton besides the fact they lost 21 Yeah, it kind of looks like they've just tried three or four different offenses in this half, yeah. and we're kind of just holding them back. I think they've had one first down, maybe two. Yeah, they went from a run-run heavy offense to a pass-pass heavy offense, and Neither one of them seemed to work for In fact, I think yeah. the, the run offense is doing better than the pass offense. Yeah, even, even with the win, passing wasn't good. They have two interceptions already. Yeah. Um, probably should have been three. Yeah, I think you're probably right there. <laughs> Little girls out there, that's cute. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to turn the camera here. Oh, no, let's, I'm going to switch over to the other camera real quick. So if I could figure out how to do it. No, nope, I can't figure out how to do it. Anyway, they're, they're introducing the... Uh, the uh, Pee Wee cheerleaders. The Pee Wee cheerleaders and the high school cheerleaders. These are your junior cheerleaders. And I can get the camera over there. There you go. Give the cheer a little uh, love there. And now, the Pee Wees. Oh, here comes the Pee Wees. Oh, the little, the little guys. Yeah. Another Murdoch. There's like nine Murdochs. <laughs> anyway, we're going to show you the LaConner kids here real quick, and then we'll go on with the halftime show in just a minute. Yeah, there's still about 12 minutes left in the half. Yeah. We can keep talking, though, while we're doing that. So, uh, honestly, I thought the everything that kind of went wrong in Granite Falls, it looks like the Wolverines have addressed. Yeah, they have definitely done their week two, end of week two conditioning practice week. Yeah. And uh, obviously it works like every time. <laughs> well, well the, the big things I've seen from, from the Wolverines that they, they cleaned up, they're not turning the ball over. Yeah. Um, defensively, they're staying home better than they did yep, against Granite Falls. Definitely. Tackling's been a lot better. Tackling has definitely been better. Um, pass the pass defense has been better. Yeah, especially when McConnor ran into that four wide receiver the, the, set. The coverages are looking really good. Yeah, so I think uh, across the board, the areas that were a concern in the last yeah. game, they've addressed. So even that's even special teams is looking a bit better. Yeah. So and then you know you got a, a weaker McConnor team, I would say, Obviously, than Grant yeah. Falls. So that there's a little bit there, but. Uh, and then offensively, they just did what they do. They run the ball, run the ball, and run the ball some more. So yeah, that was this, good to see. This definitely earned. It's definitely going to be a feel-good kind of thing going. All right. So I'm going to do our sponsors again here. You want me to turn the camera back? Well, you can keep it on there. I got the midgets now. All right. So, yeah, go ahead and flip that back around, and then we'll you can see where we're going to be right there. There you go. All right, we're going to thank the uh, see Brown Home Center, the Allen's only full-service building supply center, Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. So, honestly, I think the second half... You just want to go out and do what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, there's really no glaring things I have to work the, on at all. The clock should be running on free right now. So I, I think that uh, – hi. Hey, Mom. So I think everything else is looking good for the Wolverines. There really doesn't anything to work on. And uh, thank you. Got our water delivery courtesy of Becky. So I think as far as the Wolverines go, everything's looking pretty good for the team. The – you know, the one little hiccup they had was that fumble, and yeah. that was kind of it. So, one one bad play out of an entire yeah, half. Other than that, defense has done well. Offense There's has done well. I think you couldn't ask for a better half. I mean, 30, 35 points and a half. Always I don't. Nice I thing. don't think there's going to be much uh, much of practice this week concerning our issues. No, it, it's definitely like they got things ironed out. Um, I. It'll be curious to see if we'll get some more uh, the younger players playing in the second yeah. half. Yeah, uh, um, we haven't seen we haven't seen Cody Anderson yet in there. Um, 
everybody else, I think we've kind of seen. Uh, we saw we saw a couple plays. We've really seen Gavin Garcia in there very much. Yeah, we've seen a few plays of Graham in there. So yeah. I'd be curious to see if we see some more um, more of the younger players. Uh -huh. um, I'm really not. I know Jackson's our backup quarterback. Maybe we'll see him at quarterback in the second half. He might give Don a little break. Yeah. Um, that would be a bad idea either, just to get some reps in. You know, when you got to, mm -hmm. you know, you can leave the defense alone and just do some offensive changes. That make might sure, make sure some of the starters don't get hurt either. Well, yeah, you want to save some starters, and then you want to get some uh, younger players some play time. So this might be a good opportunity for Brock to do that. Yeah. At this point in the game, we're running on a free clock. Yeah. And it should go quick. As as I've heard from the coaches filming the game for us it seems to be a little chippy out there <laughs> <laughs> a little chippy maybe maybe, maybe concerning my brother <laughs> well there he's getting held quite a few times i saw yeah, kind of been sliding off so and you know it's it's the connor and that's never one of our uh, friendly rivals no though. although i don't think he ever really played them in uh, tigers very much that was more you guys that your, was more of us yeah more, your, your group played the connor a lot more often than we did they they definitely walloped us at least up until like grade nine. Yeah, there was some tough. There was well, yeah, that's the same guys who played in high school, so it kind of yep. makes sense. But I mean, as soon as junior year came around, we kind of just completely flipped it on them. Yeah, and obviously it's kind of stayed until now. This is this is a pretty normal scene for me watching the scoreboard at <laughs> halftime <laughs> on on this field. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I totally get that. <laughs> we'll probably we'll probably score two or three more touchdowns. Run out the clock. Life is good. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the same thing. I, like I'm saying, though, I think it would be good of an opportunity for the younger players to get some time. You always want to give those in those kind of games, you know. Gets, gets you uh, the ability to try stuff, too, if you want to yeah. try someone in a different position to see how they do. Yeah. You know, live game versus practice. I mean, most of the practices the Wolverines get to do are, are limited to half-line scrimmaging. So... They don't get to play a full line against each other anyway. Yeah, that's true. So this this is your chance to really experiment and see what kids can do in a different setup without, you know, trying to spend practice time on it. Oh, man, I need that water. <laughs> it's drying out. Talking too much. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to redo my headphones here. Still got about six minutes left. Not, back on. I know it's not, mu not much going on. Can't run, can't run the halftime clock, unfortunately. Nope. All right, so not a lot to do at halftime. Basically, we kind of went over the stuff. We're doing really well. The Wolverines are doing really well, so there's only really not a lot to go over besides the fact that they're doing well. So I'm going to read our sponsors again here. Uh, Browns Home Center, the Iowa's only full service building supply center. Uh, Banner Bank. BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmer and Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Survey, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Station and Septic, Iowa Petroleum Services. It's, there's the wind picking up again, so that's good, a little exciting. It's like the same direction, the flag's pointing the same way. As long as the wind, the rain doesn't come in, we'll be okay. All right, we got uh, five minutes left. I don't know, I'd really like to know how to change the camera on this. I think I'd be able to figure this out. Oh, there you go. I got it. All right, so I'm going to put it back on the field view there. And we'll go just to silent here for a few minutes. I'm going to drink some more water because I've been talking the entire time. What? <laughs> always a good text from fans. Always getting texts about the rest cheating.
that back on there and that under there and get everything kind of tucked back in here again. All right, so we've got the uh, officials have come back out onto the field. They're kind of doing a little chit chat there. I'm assuming the players will be along here in a moment. We've got uh, three minutes and 45 seconds left on the halftime clock, which didn't seem to matter last week because when the halftime clock ran out, they were added five more minutes. So we'll, it's like the the Connor cheer has their banner out for the players to run through. See so if it doesn't to, blow away in the wind here. <laughs> see if they can not nothing suck four of them off into a vortex somewhere. <laughs> Little Wizard of Oz. Alrighty. Let's got this all back together. Went too far. There we go. They got it up. Take us to the top, it says. All right. Hey, look at the cameras right on there, too. <laughs> like I'm moving it. Oh, you're moving? I was gonna yeah, say, yeah, I'm, I was moving. Gonna say I'm moving the camera. Oh, here we go. We're going to the banner. Boom. Oh, kind of got it. Classic. But you're supposed to cut slits in there so the wind blows through it. It's easier to rip. Yeah, you tech, typically the uh, typically the banner is three pieces of paper uh, yeah, taped, ta taped long ways. Yeah, that way when you run through it, it just kind of shatters. Yeah, that's what I thought. So anyway, got to work on that part. Alrighty. Well, I just cannot. I had this headset perfect the first half, and now I just cannot get where I want it to be. There, that's a lot better. Oh, here comes the Wolverines, led by Jack Mason. All right. Go out there and warm up. This thing's hard to control. Well, that from well, yeah, from where you're sitting. <laughs> I can't, I can't really see it from up there, so I'm watching the iPad, and the iPad's delayed. Yeah, it's got like a five second, or not a five second. It's like, like a two a, second two delay. Two second delay. Yeah. Ken, Ken should be back here in a minute. And he can take over the camera. All right, the Wolverines are warming up. Looks like the Connors will get warmed up. They're so looking, they're looking pretty lively. Looking pretty good. Connors got his normal limp he has by halftime. Sounds about right. We'll get to watch the boys do the Wolverine jacks. Coach Brock talking to the refs about <laughs> probably the questionable calls we've seen. <laughs> well, I, I'm still on that one call where I don't think it was interpreted right, personally. But. Yeah. But we'll see. I'm sure he's talking to him about that. Here comes Bubba. Good old Coach Rob. Uh oh. Boys played Grace Academy victorious for nothing. I'm going back to college tomorrow. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Nice. Great. Just came back to say hi to the boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, geez. All right, well, we're getting warmed up here. First day back, this is the coming back. Yeah. Here in Central, right? Yeah, moving in tomorrow. Uh, the white hat's coming over to the rest of the officials. It's like we're getting nailed down here. First time back in like a year and a half. Yeah. Oh. Nothing. Not only that, it's warm. Yeah. yeah. This does warm. All right. Well, while we're waiting here, let's go over the sponsors again. So we'll get about a headset starting to hurt my ears. Yeah, the, the padding's a little old on some of these. They kind of could probably use some fresh ear pads. All right. Glasses on. All right, so uh, Freddie Harbor Tiny TV is printed by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center. Uh, Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Freddie Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, 
Haley's Bar and Grill, Freddy Harbor Electric, San Juan Survey, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. And we are about two minutes to go here, and actually a minute and a half, so we're getting down there. Hopefully we're going to start right on time here. Uh, got someone getting taped up down here on the corner. Must have got a little, got a little helmet to the old hand. That's number 21, C.J. Edwards. And over on the field is another LeConnor helmet just laying in the grass. I don't know who that belongs to. Oh, yeah. That usually gets you in trouble um, if you leave your helmet laying around. Yeah, your helmet's your best friend. Yeah, so that's never a good sign. Uh, maybe 15 broke it when he uh, slammed it onto the ground on that last play. <laughs> Did he actually throw it? Oh, he threw it. Yeah, he, so was, he, uh, he was the wide receiver. And yeah, Dylan, on that interception. Dylan picked it off, and he slammed his helmet on the ground. Yeah, that's usually the kind of thing that the refs kind of frown on. They don't like but to see that they, kind of uh, behavior. They probably just weren't looking. Yeah, they were. They were all watching the interceptions, so you can kind of get away with things like that. All right, well, Wolverines are meeting out there with Coach Plummer, I think. Is that Coach Plummer right there? Oh, Coach Plummer does all special teams. One of the special teams player for the kickoff. Or Especially no, we're receiving. Kick return. Yeah, we're on kick return. This is probably be the one kick return we get to cover. Yeah, that, was, that, that happens sometimes. Is that wind blowing that camera around too? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, Ken, Ken should be back here in a minute. If not, we can run the camera a little bit before he gets here. So we're going to be kicking with the wind? Yeah, actually, we're kicking with the wind. No, we should be. No, because we were we were we with. We kicked off, didn't we? We kicked off. We kicked off, so we're receiving. With yeah. the wind, though. Yeah, we kicked well, off with the wind. Yeah, so they're, we're, they're kicking into the wind. LaConnor's yeah. kicking into the wind. But That's our, it. But our third quarter is with the wind. Right. That's right. So we're gonna probably looking at, uh, logically, if you were the LaConnor Braves, you would want to do a squib quick here because getting the ball up in the air into the wind is counterproductive on a kickoff. So we'll see what they decide to do here. Looks like we got 5-2-2-2 two, two, two in our layout for the kick return. We've got, uh, who's over here on this side? I'm moving the camera now. That's cool. Just run the camera. I mean, just, you just follow the ball. Just don't go super fast. We'll be good. Ken will be back in a minute to do that. I keep thinking that flagpole is going to fall over. It's so windy. Yeah, it's it's kind of been stretching pretty hard there. All right, here's the kickoff. Squib kick down the middle, and it's off somebody's shins. He's got the ball. He's running it back. Uh, good return. Who's that? Um... Looks like Wiley. No, that's not Wiley. No? That's Jeffrey Volk. Oh, that's Jeffrey. And the water looks so good. Nice. <laughs> I haven't seen him run the ball since that game against... Uh, yeah, I haven't seen Jeffrey run the ball in about that, two years that now. That two-way game he finished up in and scored a touchdown. All righty. So they got the flat we got there. The Wolverines are coming up to the ball. Connor is lining up against them. Looks like we got uh, standard formation for the Wolverines. It's like Pierce, or, or yeah, Pierce Klein's out there. He's going in motion. Here's the snap, and it's a handoff to Connor Haynes right up the gut. He gets seven, eight, 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 nine. Say nine. Almost to ten. We're going to give him nine yards on that rush there. Yeah, I'm going to mark him a little short. We're going to give him, uh, looks more like eight yards. Wolverines right back on the ball. No huddle. Here we go. They're just going for it. Uh, no motion from Pierce. And a handoff there to Gustafson. He's going he's right down the gut. He's down. Four guys on him. Looks like he's down to the almost the 20, 30. He's a very disruptive runner. Almost to the 30. First down for the Wolverines. Going to wait on the chains here. I'm not going to give him the go until the chains are in position. All right, here we go. No motion from Klein again. Hand off to Connor Haynes around the right side. That's Looks touchdown. like a touch. Oh, oh nice got tackle. Got caught. Who was that? That was a good tackle. Was that number 61? Nine, number nine. Oh. I was looking at somebody else. Uh, Isaac Kitchen. Nice tackle because that looked like it was going to break all the way to the end zone. Grabbed him by the ankles. All right. The Wolverines, the ball. We're first and 10 on the 16. 15, 16-yard line. Set to go. 
No motion from Klein. Straight up snap. Here's a pitch to Connor Haynes. He gets tripped up. Makes it to the maybe the 15. So no gain. I think we're going to give him maybe a yard gain on the play. So we're looking at second and nine. Wolverines the ball. Here comes the snap. Motion from Klein. Here's the snap. It's going to Connor. He slips his first tackle. Gets about three yards, I think, maybe four. Yep. Third, down. Third and five for the Wolverines. Wolverines are in the huddle now. They're just about to snap out of that. Here they come. Roberson under center. Motion from Klein. Here's the snap. Hand off to Gustafson right through the gut. Touchdown. Un untouched. Pretty clean play. No flags. He just ran right in. Uh, we got the flat there. I think we're going to kick the extra point. Roberson with the flat. Here comes Victor for the kick. Oh, they keep stopping the clock still. Yeah, I thought it would be running by now. Yeah. No, it'll definitely be running now. Oh, yeah. All right. Here comes the snap. Falls down. Kicks up. Kicks good. That was great. Great kick. All right, so that's Wolverines touchdown, 42 to nothing. Let's take about, uh, what, two and a half minutes? Two minutes, 28 seconds yeah. for that score. Two, two and a half minutes on the drive. Nice drive. Only got stymied on maybe one play. The kicking is looking really good. Honestly, yeah, Vic, Victor's, he's if, a good. If, if they have to go, like, for a 30-yarder or something, oh, yeah, they, they'd make it. Victor's good for that for sure. Yeah. I just don't think they kicked at the beginning because it was so windy. Uh-huh. All right, so Wolverine football is brought to you by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center. Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, and the Tommy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Freddie Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Freddie Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. All right, so here we are for the kickoff again. Wolverines are getting ready for the kick. O'Connor's setting up their receiving core. Might not have to hold the ball either now. It's kind of still got a little breeze now and then. We'll see what they got going. I think Connor's going to keep holding it anyways. Just just so the refs feel better about it. Oh, <laughs> no. no, they're going to do a free set. There it is. That's that's pretty that's like the first normal kickoff we get to see. Yeah, here we go. And Connor's back to receive. Here comes the kick. Nice, oh, nice boot. Nice boot right down the middle. It's bouncing all the way to the end zone. That's a touchback. And it's out the end zone. Nice kick from Victor. That's going to put uh, LaConnor certain on the 20. Subs in, subs out. Teams are getting ready here. Looks like uh, we're still on our main starters, I think, for defense. I haven't yeah. seen any real substitutions yet. Max Fields is out there. Jackson Waldron's out there. Gustafson, Bulk, Mason. Looks like the normal starters. Tate. Yeah, Tate, Tate's out there. Tate Geyser, Connor, Haynes. Who's in the linebackers there? Wiley McCutcheon. Chris. Dylan Roberson's still there. Yeah, I think we're, we're still on all our starters for defense at the moment. All right, here's LaConner up to the ball. They've gone back to, what do we got here? One back in the back with the wing back and two wide receivers. So a little like adjustment the... again. Uh, fumble right off the ball. Oh, defensive touchdown. Connor Haynes picks the ball up and runs it in for a Scoop touchdown. Scoop score. Oh, looks pretty clean. Uh, wow. And that's a touchdown. Connor's having himself a good game. Connor's having an excellent game. No? Do we ruin this a touchdown, or what are we doing? Yep. Yeah, it's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. We had a little disagreement there with the referees for a moment. They got it all figured out. So a little bad snap. Ball's on the ground. Connor Haynes scooped it up and runs it in. That was pretty much the long and the short of it right there. They're going to set up for the extra point. Not even four minutes in, and they scored twice. Dylan's ready for to receive the snap. Victor is back to kick. 
Looks like the Connors got their guys on the field. So here comes the snap. Dylan with the ball, the set, kick is up. Nice kick. And it looks good. So that's a, a, a extremely fast touchdown. That was like 20 something seconds. So, no, maybe a minute. So we're down to eight minutes in um, 17 seconds in the third quarter. I don't think that scoreboard's correct. The 47? Oh, it was 42. And then they scored and kicked an extra points. So it should be 49. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't think it's right either. Yeah, I think we're going to say 49, right? It's 49. Yeah, it's 49 to nothing. Their scoreboard's off a little bit. Took about a minute uh, off the clock there on that last LeConner drive with a turnover. Uh, so we're going to... Hold on here for a sec, and I think everybody's having a little chit-chat down there. The Wolverines are ready to go, but LaConnor's having a little. Oh, they're all jazzed up now. LaConnor's got a little pep talk going. That was definitely a good old feel-good moment. Well, that kind of makes up for last week, you know. Yeah. Makes up for Connor. Connor's the make, official make, telling make Connor to get, get things together here. we got a game to play. Makes up for Connor in the first half getting that pick six called back. This is true. <laughs> a little defensive score. All right, so Connor's ready to almost ready to receive. They got their men in position. Uh, Victor's got the ball set, and we are ready to kick here as soon as the official gives us the go-ahead. There we go. And here's the kick. Nice big booming kick right down the wow, middle. It's gonna be another touchback. Oh, 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 it's on the one. Well, I didn't quite make it in the end zone. You gotta play that one. And they've got Tackle him down on the five-yard line, it looks That's like. That's the 10. Is it 10? It's 10 yards. So a little uh, lackadaisical there from the Lacona receiving core, but uh, they managed to sort it out and come out with the 10-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 on the 10 for Lacona. That's a little exciting moment when it doesn't bounce the way you think it's going to go. Oh, I know. <laughs> now the clock's running. There we go. That's the way it should be. They didn't fix the scoreboard yet, though. Nope. We're close. All right, so we're going to – waiting on the quarterback for LaConnor right now. He's got the play in. we got an extra lineman coming in. We've got our 11th man for the Wolverines in. You see who that is? I think they might have subbed out. Where at? Uh, one of the linebackers came. I think Connor is uh, – Connor's getting a well-deserved rest at this point. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I didn't. I didn't see. <laughs> that looks like uh, Pierce. Is it Pierce? I think, position. Yeah, I think it is Pierce there in the mic. So we'll see. The Connor's on the ball. Two wide receivers, wing back and a deep back, and a quick little handoff. And I don't think it really got anywhere. It's nope. not fooling anybody on the Wolverines. That was stuffed. It's like a maybe two yard gain. So we're gonna say second down and eight to go for the Connor. Here they come up to the ball. It's like the same formation again. Two wide receivers on the far side. No, they changed it up. So we've got a wide receiver on the far side, a wing back on our side, and two running backs. So the same formation they ran at the start of the game. Uh, so they're going to pitch out. He's going to cut in. Cut in. And it's like good. Gustafson started that tackle, and uh, Jackson Waldron finished it up. It's a good hit. So we got like a four-yard gain there. So we're looking at third and three. Two, I say, yeah, maybe two. Yeah. I'll go third and two. Why not? All right, so third and two. We got a little sub there for uh, Wolverine. 68 came out. That is not 68. That's got to be Gavin Garcia that came out, 63. All right, the Connors up. And now we <laughs> Thank you. All right, here's the snap. Uh, that was kind of all over the place. There was movement, motion, bad snap, and guys running for his life now. The ball's in the air, and it is almost caught. Uh, that was a pretty close play. Wiley cleaned it up if the guy had caught the ball. Wiley had him dead to rights for the tackle. So it looks like Connor's turning the ball over on downs, unless we've got a flag, which I don't think I see. We've got, uh, got the white hat coming over to talk to Connor's coach, though. I wonder why. Yeah, that's a little interesting. All right, so we've uh, got a turnover on downs. Wolverines now have the ball on the LeConner 17-yard line. First and 10. A couple subs by the Wolverines. 
Uh, looks like they are ready to go here. Yeah, let's see if the boys can get one more. Let's see what happens. All right, so we've got uh, Wiley for the deep back with uh, Chris Gustin in front of him. All right, so we've got uh, Wiley for the deep back with uh, Chris Gustin in front of him and playing wing, I think it's still uh, Pierce Klein. When he goes in motion, yes, it is Pierce in motion. Here comes the snap. And the ball goes to Wiley, and he is oh. snakes the first tackle, does a little cutback, and gets back maybe just past the line of scrimmage. So I think we got a yard on the play, so it should be second and nine on the 15, I think. Yeah, the wind's kind of stopped. Yeah, it did kind of die down a little bit. All right, so from the Wolverines, second down. Let's see, we got, uh, we switched around. We've got Wiley at the wing back, and it looks like Pierce at the deep back. And Wiley in motion. Here's the snap. The ball to Pierce. Got a two-yard gain, maybe. So we're going to be third and seven-ish. Hmm. All righty. Wolverines the ball. Wiley still at the wing back. Uh, Pierce Klein on the deep back. Chris Guffs is in at fullback. And then we've got uh, no motion from Wiley. Here's the snap. It goes to Pierce. He gets gets taken down in the backfield by number 51, LaConnor. Uh, Weston Arnold. Uh, broke right through the line and made the tackle. So it looks like goal. a loss of almost five on the play. We gonna kick a field goal? Uh, I don't know. They could. They totally could. So we're back to the on the 15 yard line of the Connor. It's fourth down. They got about eight or nine to go. So we're coming up to we're taking our go for it here on fourth. Uh, Wiley back at the wing back. Uh, Pierce Klein at the at the deep back. Wiley in motion. Here's the snap to get the ball to Chris right up the gut. No oh, one stopping him. Touchdown. There's a touchdown. <laughs> Yeah, right up the middle. I think maybe one <laughs> oh, guy man. touched him. That was great. All right. What's that? Is like fourth? <laughs> Fifth? I don't know. We're not doing stats. We probably should be doing that. All right. So that's touchdown for Chris Gustafson. Uh, let's see. Victor's coming in to kick the extra point. So if we keep or for keeping this right, it should be 56 after this extra point, or the scoreboard says. 53. Maybe they missed those two. We didn't even see it. No, well, I don't know. They look, they look There's good. There's the kick. Me. It's up and is good. good. So another extra point for Victor. That one was good. <laughs> All right. Oh, they added two points. Nope, there we go. Now it's 54. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting closer. All right, so we're going to go to the sponsors here for Wolverine football on Friday Harbor Tiny TV by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center. Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation Septic, Island Petroleum Services. Well, this has been quite a third quarter so far. <laughs> well, it's uh, lasted about 12 minutes, which sounds about right because the clock runs out because of the old high school mercy rule. Yeah, we're... Uh, Third quarter, third quarter is about to end, third actually. Third quarter is about to end. We'll be starting the fourth quarter in just a moment. This game's winding down pretty good. Hopefully the boys can keep a shutout going. Above a left. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what a shutout means. Oh, yeah. Burgers at Brock's. Yep. All righty. So, switching sides, we're going to kick off. Uh, so now the Wolverines will be going from our left to our right. Switch so they'll quarters. be going into the wind if the wind does pick back up. That's the dead. The Connors have the wind at their back, and the Wolverines will be going into the wind. Did that guy just fake a sound to end the quarter? <laughs> yes. He made a sound with his mouth to That's end the quarter. That's pretty funny. The, the fake, the fake uh, rifle shot to end the quarter. Oh, back to the pet band. Yeah, they finally woke up. Maybe the I haven't, gun I haven't heard them in a second. <laughs> the gunshot woke them up. <laughs> All righty. So here we go. Wolverines are going to kick off. 
There's the kick. It's a nice deep kick again. It's like it's going to be bouncing and picked up. Right. Oh, oh, didn't he quite bobbled pick it, up. it. He's coming to the right side. There's guy Wolverines all over him. There's somebody there. I can't even name half of them. Great tackles. Um, pretty much half the team was there to make the tackle. So it's number 15. Wiley's making sure he's okay because they kind of dogpiled him. Uh, it was Hayden Dinius with the return of about three yards. So it'll be LaConnor Ball. It's going to be on their 21-yard line. First and 10 for LaConnor. And what do we got here? Yeah, we got 11 guys out there this time. Yeah, maybe this will be like the sixth different formation they're trying no, to. No, they're going back to the old school here. Oh, so this is four wide receivers with back a to spread. Uh, with a deep back or with a wing back, not a wing back. It's almost pistol. That's what I want to say. It's pistol formation. Yeah, it's pistol. All right, they crow across the middle, and it's uh, at the feet of receiver number 12. Yeah, you have to defend that. Uh, Randy Akebi, it was right at his feet, so a little short on the pass there. If it had been on target, it would have been a completion. So we're looking at uh, second and 10 from the 21. And same formation for uh, LeConnor, forward wide receivers, five linemen. Here's the snap, looks back to throw. Hold on to it for too long. Yeah, he's way in the pocket. The guy was open, though, and he drops the ball. So a little uh, light coverage on the far side there. So there was some room for a completion. I don't but think they've completed a pass the whole game. Yeah, that was just uh, – that one's that one's on the receiver there. They should have yeah. caught that. Because so. he was definitely open, and Defin the ball, was, definitely the on ball the bounced there. off his hands. So, All right, so we're looking at third and ten for LaConnor. Ten minutes left. Clock's running its life out. Boy, it sure take a long time with the calls, though. I mean, oh, yeah. What, what are their options here? Yeah, I don't know. All right, so here we go. Four wide receivers again about. with the pistol formation with the quarterback and the running back. And this is shotgun. Here's the snap. Oh, low snap. He gets it up. He's moving to his right, moving to his left, across the middle, and it bounces off a of Wolverine. That was good defense. I think it bounced off Wiley McCutcheon there. Yeah, he, he, he almost picked that off. Yeah, it was close. I think it was off his shoulder. It was a great breakup. All right, so we're looking at the uh, fourth down for LaConnor. Fourth and ten. I have a feeling we're going to say the same formation again. Probably. <laughs> At this point, they're just trying things they haven't tried well, before. Well, to be honest, <laughs> two of these plays, if the ball was thrown better, it was a completion, and yeah. the guy caught it was a completion, so... It's not like it's futile. They've, no. they've had the option. No, but at There's this been the chance to get a first down. They just haven't completed the At this pass. point, they're just playing. They're just running plays they want to keep trying later on. All right, so now we've got back to a deep shotgun with two running backs and a wing back, and we're going to pass out of this. He puts it way back, puts it in the air, and it's not caught, which is almost, good. Almost intercepted. Well, it shouldn't have been because it was fourth down. Yeah. So intercepting that ball would be like a punt, and that's not what you want to yeah. do. Yeah. So uh, the Wolverines take over on downs on the uh, LeConnor 21. Uh-oh. Someone's going to have a dead battery. All right, so the Wolverines are taking over on downs here. We're on the LeConnor 21. Eight minutes uh, left. Eight minutes left in the half. The clock's running. It's a little hard out. And here we go to the play. We've got uh, Chris Gustafson in at fullback. And looks like uh, Pierce Klein behind him. And I cannot see who's at wingback over there. Is that Wiley or is that someone else? It looks like Wiley McCutcheon That's at wing. Wiley. He's in motion. Here's the snap. Hand off to Pierce. Right up the middle. He gets about... Three or four yards. That's a good carry. Pretty solid run. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was more than two there. This guy can't count at all. No, that was like four. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that's three or four yards easy. Anyway, so we're on the second down with, uh, I would say, probably six to seven yards to go. It's kind of right in the gray spot there. Wolverines to the line. Same formation. Wiley at wing back. Uh, Chris Gustafson at fullback. Pierce Klein behind him. McCutcheon in motion. Here's the snap. Up the middle to Pierce Klein. Gets pretty close to the first down. I think they're going to mark him just short, though. 
third down, two to go. All right, so Wolverines to the line. We've got about seven minutes left. And Dylan behind down for the snap. Motion from McCutcheon. Here's the snap. Hand off to Pierce Klein, and he gets for the first down. I'm pretty sure he got that. Oh, yeah. They're still kind of jostling around and shoving. He's finally down on the ground. Looks like he'll be down on the seven-yard line, so we're first and goal on the seven. First and goal, Wolverines. Yeah, I'll get a more yards than that. They give him on the five, I think. No, where are we at here? Not as far to the seven. I think they run him, run him down on the nine. So it's first and goal from the nine. Wolverines in the huddle. Here they come to the line. Still the same thing. They got McCutcheon at wing back, uh, Klein at the half back, and Gufson at the full back. McCutcheon in motion. Here's a snap. Hand off to Klein, and I think he got pretty close to the goal line there. I think he's down on the three. Yeah. So second down and three yards to the end zone here. So we're pretty close to getting a score See again. See if we can get one more touchdown. Clock's running. We're down to almost five and a half minutes. Oh. Let's see what we got going here. McCutcheon in motion. There's the snap. Giving it to Klein, and I think he's in. That yeah, looks like a touchdown. Yeah, there you go. Pierce Klein with the touchdown. Ran that same play every time, so there was no stopping it there for LaConnor. 60 to nothing now. So a nice uh, short little drive there for the Wolverines. Uh, Victor comes out for the kick. Victor Velasquez. Dylan's going to hold, getting everything set up here. All right, Dylan's ready for the snap. There's the ball. The kick is up and good. There we go. One more touchdown for the Wolverines. Four and a half minutes to go. Our sponsors on uh, Friday Harbor Tiny TV for the Friday Harbor Wolverines, Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Survey, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. Well, we're at the back end of a blowout here. Um... Really can't go on about that. I mean, the Wolverines have kind of been dominant the entire game. Oh, yeah. Uh, not the teams of old for LeConnor, unfortunately this, for them. This is pretty casual LeConnor bout nowadays. Yeah. Kind of have a little indecision on who's going to be on the correct side of the field, but I think they got it figured out. Well, I think they just did it wrong. All right. So Victor's ready to kick. Three and a half minutes left. Got the ball set. LeConnor's ready to receive. Waiting on the official now. Oh, got a late substitution from Connor. Get your butt out there. Better hurry. Oh, he's running. He's running fast. All right. There's the whistle. There's the kick. A little squibber down the middle, and it's down dropped right there it. on the. <laughs> Just drop down. <laughs> on the, what, 40, where am I at here? Not the 30, uh, 38. 37, 38 yard line of LeConnor. Yeah, we're. Wolverines are back out on defense. We'll see, see if this is the last drive of the game. It should probably be the last one unless we have a four and out or a quick little turnover. Yeah. So here's LaCon. Let's see what formation they're going to run at us this time. Kind of leaning back toward the four wide receiver side again, but we'll see what we oh, get. Oh, probably. All righty. So, Wolverine, their Connor breaks the huddle. They come in the line. There we go. Four wide receivers in the pistol formation. And here comes the snap from shotgun. Oh, rain's coming in again. And quarterback back to look. He drops right, jogs left. He's going to run the ball a little bit, lets it go, and misses his receiver. 
Just missed him a little bit ahead of him, about two feet. So that brings up second and 10 for LaConnor. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right, so or LaConnor's thinking about their next play here. The Wolverines are all set to go. Um, pretty much it still looks like the starting D's out there. I don't really see any uh, big substitutions there. No. Not really a lot of substitutions. I think make. maybe the only uh, thing I notice on the far side is Dylan's, maybe. Dylan's on the sideline. Yeah, so someone's, I think they might have moved um, Jackson Waldron to safety. Here comes the play. Back to pass. He's going to huck it. Whoa, that's a long there, one. Nobody's there. So I think the Wolverines switched uh, Jackson Waldron to safety. And then um, Graham Learing, I think, is in on corner on the far side. And on this side, it is still uh, Max Fields playing corner on our side. And the linebackers look the same. I see uh, Pierce is still in the middle for Connor. Yeah, yeah, Pierce is still out there for Connor. And then I think, every, and then number 50, that's Victor. He's in. The, he's yeah. out there. And uh, then uh, Chris Gavin Gus is in, and Jeffrey Volker still out there. And then down the line, I think uh, Jack might be out of the game. I think, I think they have I, Gavin Garcia in. Yeah, I think they have Gavin Garcia there for Jack Mason. All right, here's LaConnor to the ball. they got four wide receivers in the pistol again. 37 Shotgun seconds. Shotgun snap. Uh, here's the snap. He looks back. He looks. He's running to his left. Looks to throw right across the middle. And oh. there's a pick for Victor. He's going to run it back. Nah, Maybe. Gonna, gonna, oh, he runs right into that dude. Now he gets off of oh. him. Still going. That and was great. And there's the tackle. Uh, that might just be the last play of the game. Yeah, they took him down on the 25, 26-yard line of LaConnor. Clock is down to 12 seconds. I think that's probably yeah, that'll, be that'll be it. That'll do it. So it looks like a turnover to end the game for LaConnor to the Wolverines. Uh, so another turnover. Big pauses for the turnovers this week versus last week. Uh, there's the fake gun sound to end the game. Oops, see, there goes my lost my lost my notes. But anyway, uh, so there you go, the Wolverines. Uh, the scoreboard says 61 to nothing, but I think it's 63. I don't think they cut it out. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Anyway, so that's the end of the game. We want to thank uh, Brown's Home Center, the Iowans' only full-service building supply center, uh, Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Freddie Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley Bar and Grill, Freddie Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, Star Excavation, Septic, Iowan Petroleum Services, so I gotta say, I'm gonna say our player of the game is probably Connor Haynes. Oh, I'd say so too. Uh, he had enough couple um, nice touchdown runs, couple, couple turnovers, he got couple a touchdowns, scoop, scoop and score there. So I think I'm gonna have to pencil him in as the player of the game. Yeah. Um, uh, honestly, I'd say I'd say probably either him or Victor. Yeah, Victor, uh, you had a nice quiet game there. Victor had a great defensive a great game. Got an interception, good plays on defense. Lots of special teams moves Yeah, good for special him. teams. Yeah, I think that was pretty good. So I think that's going to call it for the game. I don't know what else we have to go here. It's starting to rain. Ooh. Ken wants to catch the ferry. I'm cold. <laughs> Ian's cold, so I think we're going to sign off with that. Um, have a great evening, and thanks for listening to the game. There's not a lot to say about that yeah, game. There really isn't a whole lot to say. You're right. <laughs> it's pretty much all Wolverines the whole so, time. Uh, run through the, uh, I did the sponsors already. You did sponsors? Yep. Okay. I did the sponsors. Well, folks, I guess we're out of here. I guess we're done. We're going yep, to wrap it up. Thanks again to the sponsors and head to the boat. Have a great evening. <laughs>